I am kicking the tires. <laughs> <laughs> we got some uh, cosplay going on. Yeah, that's pretty serious. So I recognize old that school helmet. TV or old school D and D. Old school D and D. Old school D and D. The only D and D, really. Yes. <laughs> Not so, quite TV. True. That's Russian. Yep. Yep. And uh, I also posted posted it in the chat for the Zoom, so perfect. you can see that. Awesome. Yep. Right on. And uh, I am going to kick the tires and light the fires. And on old school D and D, we are pressing the button for a little video. Hey, heroes! Galaxy's Edge presents James M. Ward's Crimson Hawk Adventures. Welcome, folks, to Old School D&D, being played by sci-fi writers, or better yet, sci-fi writers playing Old School D&D. And we have a great, glorious table for you today, uh, starting with our special guest star, Anna B. Meyer. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> it's great to have you on. We're very excited. Um, Thank you. Uh, next to her, we have in the Legionnaire bucket, as this show is brought to you by Galaxy's Edge, we have the Paladin Reggie, played by Jason Ansbach. Oh, oh dun, dun, citizen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> citizen. Yeah, very good. That's fantastic. Uh, win, like, win, uh, win, win. Yes, his partner in crime next to him playing the fighter thief, Chrometheus. Nick, the mayhem chaos actual Cole. We are so glad to have you guys here today, Jason. That is the official, uh, the helmet that we're, Jason is wearing is the official Legionnaire helmet from Galaxy's Edge. Think of it as stormtroopers in Afghanistan or Star Wars, not Star Wars with the serial numbers filed off. Nice. Thank you for being here. Today is going to be absolutely troll killing amazing. <laughs> Below him is our wolf loving friend, Lance Scorpio, the Cavalier. Good afternoon. Oh, Anna's got a dog. Sorry. I oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. She's a Twitch star and by now. She's been on <laughs> Twitch often, so and she deserves treats or she demands treats every time we're on the show. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I had a squirrel moment. I'm sorry. Uh, back to the business we have. Um, the, <laughs> we have the Mighty Monk, Levi, played by Michael Rothman. Howdy, howdy. Right on. Uh, the Indomitable Warden of Phoenix being played by Sir Andrew, who recently was knighted. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Our pleasure to have you today. Right on. And uh, even though he does not allow us to call him legend, Ugh. we have the legendary Crimson Hawk GM DM James. How are you, sir? Hey, buddy. I'm really good. Looking forward to having battles with every single one of you. I'm sure you have a whole like thing on Vegas with the Greeks on how long it's going to take us <laughs> to get be nice. murdered. <laughs> if I had that, then I'd be a rich man. I'll tell you that right now. And you'd be all dead. All right. I'm turning the controls over to you. You're, you're the boss. No, we're oh. turning them all over to Andrew for a minute. Our Andrew, quick, recap for us, will you? Of course. Our quick recap was the successful culmination of stopping the drums. Armed with our bard and additional assistance, we made our way back into the well after uh, air bombing and diving some vampires, zombies, and other skeletons wandering back to poor Crimson Hawk. There we discovered in deep within the well, a nasty wizard armed with his stone white dragon. Our hero successfully destroyed the last of the beating drums and returned victorious to a battered and bruised Crimson Hawk city. Dun, 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 dun. Andrew, you're getting really good at that, buddy. Try the view. Yes, exactly. So we go out from Crimson Hawk City and we go the 12 miles down south to the ruins. And uh, these guys are tired of having their horses eaten by two headed trolls. So they have decided to use the services of the mighty ranger to oh. track the trolls and find out where their lair is and then beat the snot out of all of them. So we'll have to see how this works. So, Anna, how is your tracking skills? We'll see. What, what, 
how much. I haven't looked at this my character sheet that that long, so let's see if I can find my way around here. So tracking. I'll assume we won't bother with character sheets. Yep. But I have tracking skills, of course. Okay, yes, yep. you do. So yep. let's start rolling them bones and see if you can pick up the trail of the trolls. My mom yep. watched me roll up my character sheet and I got all 18s. <laughs> <laughs> and she also she also hoped that you won the game, didn't she? Every yep. she's the best. She cuts the crust off and hope I always win at D and D. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I had two, two, one seventeen and two sixteen, so I didn't rule too bad. That so, sounds yeah. wonderful. Okay, but you also find the tracks of a hill giant. Okay. While you're while you're doing that now, what is the creature that you fight really well? Uh, let's see what my special enemy uh, trolls. Trolls. Oh, yep. well, that's very handy. Yep, very handy. Yeah. I okay. have no part in this. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, yep. right. All right. So you so you're tracking into the hills by yeah. the ruins of uh, of Crimson Hawk, the Crimson Hawk ruins. And uh, you, you track for probably, oh, I want to say till noon. Yeah. And, uh, and then you see a couple of the trolls split off and go west, and a couple of the trolls and the hill giant split off and go south. Whoa, so, whoa, hold on a second. Yes. You're saying the trolls and the hill giant are in league together? I don't believe I said that. I don't know. Jeremy. Oh well, the they, they, the tracks disappear, and if we backtrack from that, then at least they're going one after the other, or are they going together. Can I tell that difference? Uh, want we'll to difference. roll a twenty set of die and give me the number? Uh, let's see here. Uh, ten. A ten? No, you yeah. can't tell the difference. Okay. You just know it's a hill giant. It seems to be unusually an unusually heavy hill giant by okay. its footprints. Yes, so you're he not might looking... carry something, or, or he might be carrying. Yeah, yeah, it might be carrying a dead horse. Who knows? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, um, your 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 choices are west or south. Jim, may I try to smell on the wind? Smell roasting horse flesh, maybe. Oh, that's very interesting to do. Roll me a six-sided die. Tell me if you roll a five or a six. How about a six? Ooh, that's pretty disgusting. Okay. Yes, you smell roasting horse down south. Do I detect oh, evil? You <laughs> detect evil. No evil, my good friend. All right. Well, a little bit here. That's Jason uh, the Brave <laughs> Paladin. Yeah. Um, so to read this right, they split into two parties, east going, one going east, one going west. But then the smell of roasting horse, fle horse flesh is to the south. Actually, one going west and one going south. Right. One going south. Who went the, south? The hill giant and the two trolls went south. Is that accurate, Jim? That is accurate, yes. All right. Was it was it two trolls with the hill giant or one troll with the hill giant? It was at least two trolls. There, okay. There's a slight possibility of more. They could be clever and walking on each other's footprints. Single file to hide their numbers. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen that show. Uh -huh. <laughs> so apparently so have they yeah yeah apparently so have the trolls just the giant yep. they okay, watched so the magic light box too yeah apparently <laughs> they do yeah what, what do we see to the south when we look to the south jim hills hills lots of hills you guys are in hill country right now so if we look up down and all around do we get any indication of the height of these trolls by the number of branches that are disturbed no 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 good question but no yeah, but what you do, do we... get a bird dropping through the slit in your helmet. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see about that. All right, and and by the way, Cavalier, you've taken your 19 men with you. Yes, sir. They don't like the idea of fighting a hill giant. They can they're, just... they're kind of balking at that idea. Tell them to go get a ballista. I'll encourage them with my handsome smile and winning ways. Ooh. I'll, I'll... I will remind them that Anubis is not pleased with people that reject his, his gift of service. Yeah, they know that Anubis isn't pleased anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that happen, GR? Yeah. Prometheus gives them a look that they should be more afraid of him and his poisons. Right? <laughs> How does a ballista move? Can, can we grab one and take it and make it mobile? It, yeah, you could have if you would have grabbed it at the city, but now you're like 14 miles away. Curses. James, James what do we see to the east? That's back the way you came. Oh, well, the way that the trolls split off. West and south. Sorry, west. Yeah. Okay, hills and hills. hills They're and forested south. hills. 
just lovely looking. Perfect place for a castle when you guys start building your own castles. Uh -huh. I feel like if our enemy has divided themselves and the hill giant has gone south, why don't we take this opportunity to try to pick off a couple of trolls before we get the hill giant? By going west? I support this plan. Okay. I just is want to that, stab things with my lance. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yes. And by the way, Lance, did you buy a new lance? I did. I took it out of my gold reserves. Roll me a six-sided die, buddy. Tell me the number. Lance bought okay. a new lance. Yeah. Uh, I got a three. Okay. That's a, that's a cruddy lance. You're not happy with it at all. Well, I have uh, weapon uh, proficiency, so wouldn't I have not bought a, a subpar lance? You were in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to try. Yeah. Jim, why don't you make him roll to see if his pants just fell down around his ankles? And <laughs> you know, I would. You, but... belt. You, you bought a cheap belt. Now we're really... <laughs> he's, he's, he's wearing armor, so I can't drop his pants. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. dream big. Yeah, yes. he bought, bought it at the gold P, gold P store. You're being oh, applauded. Oh, the, there we go. Yeah. Yep. You're being That's applauded fun. in the chat, James, uh, for uh, uh, laying the smack down on, on us. <laughs> They're like well, excellent good, DM judgment. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much, everybody. Lord Dahlia says cycle back and now wants me to be the one to die. Yeah, really. Please, <laughs> please consider subscribing to our channel as we need as many as we can get. Yeah, we need to keep James, James off the streets, as you can see. <laughs> He mm -hmm. goes and role plays with young uh, indigent youth and, and, and humiliates them like he's humiliating us. Yeah, great. Okay. So anyway, west or south, that's your two choices. I think we're going to go west and try to pick us off some uh, trolls. Okay, very okay. good. So, so you go. Happens, right? it, it's, it, it becomes like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Your ranger is still tracking, but now she sees um, the tracks of many trolls, and she can't quite tell if they're all the same troll, <laughs> going around a lot or if maybe there are 30 or 40 trolls a lot of trolls a lot of trolls yes she can't what are, tell what are they doing like they're walking back and forth you know they're they're going this way and that way and they're and, on patrol <laughs> and this is forested hills this is forested hills yes and we don't hear these big things moving around no, maybe they're not moving around. Maybe they're in their cave eating horses. But that was to the south. No, I didn't say that. You always assume things, Prometheus. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> but we smelled, we smelled roasting horse flesh to the south. Yes, but you went west. Right. So why are they moving around here? Well, because they're, they're hunting out of their lair. Ah, so maybe they're hunting. Maybe. Or maybe they're sitting in their lair waiting for you guys. Maybe uh, we should I would wait ask for the them. Ranger, I would ask the ranger for a little lore. When do trolls like to hunt at night since you... I mean, uh, when do trolls like to hunt since you specialize in trolls? I bet they hunt at night. They can see better than humans, and, and humans are usually kind of not out hunting during the night, so... Do trolls like hunt by stalking, or do they hunt by ambush? My guess is ambush. They're not that fast, and, and they're more strong and, and go by surprise. Yeah. So perhaps they're moving around right now trying to set up an ambush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That could be. Boy, so if I was a troll, that's it. that's what I would do. Yeah. So, so how do we ambush an ambusher? Straight Wall. through it. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's the cavalier way. <laughs> no. We How get we off the road at? and and we make sure we don't stay down in the valley. We t in, during daytime we take the high ground and 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 we go on the ridge. What if what if we have what if what if we get some kind of aerial observation or we get up to a tree or we have a dragon and we get the ranger up on a dragon and we say if I were a troll knowing that she knows everything about trolls, where would I conduct an ambush? If, if we have a dragon and you want to ambush the ambushers, then we get the dragon out there and, and circulate <laughs> around. Then we walk yeah. on the road, and then when the trolls attack us, we have the dragon to back us up. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is why don't we spend a moment trying to find a likely ambush spot and then attack that ambush spot from the rear? Okay, that's an idea. Your dragon only has four more hours before it turns back into a little statue. Uh-oh. Yeah. 
So what if we send what if we send the ranger up on a dragon and try to spot the ambush? That sounds like an interesting plan. And fun cuz she gets to fly. Yeah. yeah we'll, have, we'll have to see how she is about heights. <laughs> oh, I, it's okay. Flying is good. Yep. Yeah, no, I decide that. <laughs> and then you don't decide that. Wow. <laughs> Pants are going to fall down around the my, ankles. my character description on my website? <laughs> yeah, I have, great. I have flying dragon and diplomacy uh, on my special skills. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> I yeah, believe right. that being in the presence of Reggie the Righteous gives everybody a sense of peace and calm. It's true. I it have does. that effect. Yeah, but when she goes up in the air, she's not by the paladin. That's true. Yeah. What do you okay. jump? So is that what she's going to do? She's <laughs> going to she's going to mount the paladin and then or mount the paladin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. 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 Show! First, first pregnant wolves, now yeah. pregnant dragons. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's how paladins right. work, Jim. <laughs> yeah. she's, she, she is going to mount the dragon and all go right. into the sky. Is that what she's doing? I'll take her up since we're all invisible currently, so she can come up with me and stay invisible. So she's not visible at all. Why is wow. she invisible? Because the dragon's invisibility has a 10 foot radius and that's based on its mass dispersion, not the actual spell. That's irritating, okay. That's how you D&D, James. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so um, now what, what Anna needs to do is roll a six out of die and tell me if she rolls a six. Don't roll a six. Yes. Yes what? I I rolled a six, so my. Oh, be good. she she threw up all over the wizard. Yeah, uh -oh. heights are bothering her tremendously. Yeah, she's got vertigo. She's dizzy. She mm -hmm. needs to get down quick. Okay. Yep. I screwed up. Mm -hmm. Well, James, uh -huh. can I go up? I have hunting and tracking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that can happen yeah. as soon as we find out how the wizard is cleaning the vomit off his body. Uh, my robes. Nobody can tell. Uh, that's sort of a look for me. <laughs> uh, but I can with um, uh, bicarbonate and salt and a little bit of uh, water give her a quick uh, quick Pepto Bismol shot to soothe her stomach. Oh, she appreciates yeah. that. Well, once it's empty, I can go again. Yeah, for a while you'll be you'll be striking at a minus two in. Uh oh, damn. So I need to bring her back down. Is is where? Yeah, I'm she's got to come back down. She feels horrible. Okay. All right, Chrome, you have tracking. I do. All right. Okay. Um, your, I'm going to do a turn. quick swap. Yep. Um, and I'll uh, I'll uh, water off the robes uh, and and leave this robe and wear my uh, backup suit. Oh, and very good. Okay, good. Now let's okay. find out how Prometheus does up in the sky, shall we? Well, I'm a master climber, so I don't think we need to find out. Uh, we got to roll. <laughs> we got to roll a six out of die, and you don't want to roll a six, my good friend. But I already climb heights and everything yeah, like that. I'm, I'm with you, buddy. I'm a thief. Yeah, roll the die. Six. Did you roll a six? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Vertigo. He throws up we all over the wizard. We here. He, yeah. he, he needs to go down. He's super dizzy. And for yeah. the next several hours, he's going to be rolling at a minus two to hit. Okay. I got yeah. a lot of candy asses coming up with me. Yeah, you sure We're do. Kind of... All right. Hey, uh, anybody else you want to try? Some guy Let's named uh, some guy named Jason Onspach just uh, subscribed to the channel. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah. How is that, how is that possible? I I have uh, tracking as a skill set. I can give it a go and show okay. this palette and how how life is supposed to be run. How life is like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the that's the Cavalier, correct? Correct. Yeah, the Cavalier okay, is good so at mounting things. Andrew, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you I'm gonna do now that, that, that both said your clothes are all dirty and vomity? Well, I'll just use some of my bandages to clean off and uh, some Okay. You stink uh, you stink to high heaven, my friend. It's important to get for I already carry a wheel of cheese. How bad can this be? <laughs> exactly. as, as I climb on, I, I ask him if he's been partying with Prometheus. The smell is, is revolting. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> we get up back in the sky and and uh, the cavalier starts using his excellent tracking skills. Now the cavalier is gonna roll a six sided die. Come on, baby. I got a three. Hopefully you didn't Very change the number good. I needed. Okay, so use in far to the west. Maybe maybe it'll take you uh, several hours to get there. Um, there's a huge cave. Huge cave. What Bye, we Jove, there's a cave. For, what we were looking for is to spot the ambush. Yeah, didn't spot an ambush, but you spotted a huge cave in the forest. And it's several hours away? Several hours away. Your dragon won't be a dragon anymore. Oh, understood. All right, so... Um, did we spot our trolls? No Negative. trolls yet. Uh, 
And you think ours? Yes, for sure. So I'm going to land, bring the Cavalier back down. Okay, okay. Explain to the party what we found. Okay. And our okay. choices are to go bivouac somewhere, which we can do. Um, actually, let me see how long my portable house will last. Well, wait, what about, what about if we set up a counter ambush right now? If we know the trolls are going to come out and hunt, then what if we, 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 put, we, we make an attractive spot and then we make them come for it and then we hit them? How are you going to make an attractive spot? Well, we've got horsies. <laughs> I will stand there and taunt them relentlessly. Uh -huh. Yeah, we could have, we've got, oh, we've got retainers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we don't have retainers. He has retainers. Uh, not, see, in this world, everybody doesn't realize that all their stuff is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sad, but very true. Um, so what if we set up an ambush where we have the retainers and the horses and the cavalier uh, masquerading as though they're, they're out on a camping trip and the rest of us are sta staged in an ambush to hit the trolls as they come into this spot? I love that idea. Yeah. So what we would need is a small uh, street, stream, creek, or riverbed with some rises around it. Of course, you see several of those. Okay, so what we would do is we would stake the horses near the water uh -huh. and have the cavalier set up and have his men sort of build a defensive wall so that the trolls, uh, they can defend themselves behind that wall. Um, I'm thinking that'll be way in the dark by the time that gets done. Well, I mean, packs, shields, you know, just something sort of like, hey, this is our camp. And then what we would do is we would have two groups. We'd have a ranged group and we'd have an assault group. The ranged group would be on the uh, overwatch on the small hill watching this area. And then the assault group would be off in the bushes so that when the trolls attacked, the assault group could attack the trolls. Okay. Is that what we're doing? Does everybody agree with that plan? Are there modifications? So the two like challenges it. we have are you and the ranger both are currently at a minus to hit. Um, we, we have streams in proximity, Jim. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll rinse off both my uniforms. Um, the question I have is fighting at night is going to put us at our weakest position. So you'll have night fighting. Some of you with blind fighting will get a reduced bonus, but it'll be much harder for us to stage this ambush. So they'll have, because they see, they'll have easier chances to hit us and we'll have cumulatively harder chances. Indeed. So um, we may want to hide uh, tonight until tomorrow so that we or, can start in early AM. Or, or, or we set up a camp, try to lure them out, and if they do come out, we'll have light provided by a very large bonfire. Don't need a bonfire. I've got secure shelter. So I can cast that spell, which will last until morning. And uh, that'll give us a whole building and we can work off that building if you want. Okay. Will you well, guys all fit in secure shelter? We absolutely will. It's uh, 30 foot square per level. So I can literally generate anything from 30 feet uh, up to 400 feet. That's, I can make a nice small condo. That's tragic. Mm -hmm. Then we will do that. Okay, very good. So um, right about midnight, I'm assuming somebody's going to be up to guard though. The Our entrance. retainers will be on guard. Okay, very good. Retainers, yes. They hear the sound of horns all around them. <laughs> and they don't know what the horns are, but they're not pleased. Can you do those horns one more time? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I do the best I do the best horn in the biz. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone says so. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so horns at midnight. So, but if we leave the secure shelter, if we don't leave the secure shelter, we're fine, right? Well, uh, it gives us some juice. It has an alarm spell. It has guards and wards. It can screw up <laughs> to try and get in. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. if the retainers are inside or outside, I guess you have to specify that, Lance. So um, uh, the horns have woken us, right? Yes, yes. Well, actually, <laughs> the guards woke you up because you heard horns. No, and, I, and so is this... Um, is this um, protection spell, is it creating actual walls or is it invisible? Could they see through it if they're inside? No, it's an actual building. 
And then can I burn it down to the ground, Andrew? Let's see. Can you actually burn me to the ground? Um, Sturdy Lodge. Mm, really not liking where this conversation's going. <laughs> little pig, little pig, uh, let me in. Um, uh, only extreme heat would have an effect. However, I don't think we would stay inside if there's extreme heat. Okay. I would leave. Um, the two trigger spells, let's see if those will bother you. Uh, can you give me a distance, Jim, that you are, are going to attempt to heat us up? 110 yards. 110, thank you. My area is 20 Q per level, 2062. Uh, okay, so we will uh, clearly know the alarm will go off when you uh, reach uh, the distance of 200 yards from us. Okay, so the alarms go off from all directions. And using InfraVision, what do we see? Oh, I'm sorry. They're out of your infravision range. Dragon side at 240. What is that? Um, let me think here. You probably see three orcs um, by a little fire. Orcs? Um, no, they're orcs as well. Yeah, orcs. Damn. And they got. <laughs> Anna, this is a family show. <laughs> yeah. Well, we already passed that stage. I see. We <laughs> passed that stage. Okay. So anyway, um, orcs are starting to shoot fire arrows into the roof of the building, and there's lots. Great. I can return fire with my strength bow. Yes, you can. Okay. You're a minus four to hit. Start shooting. Why am I minus four? It's dark. I have <laughs> night, night fighting and blind fighting. Yeah, okay, great, but not at 120 yards. Okay. What bow are you using? What type? He's using uh, a strong a bow. bow. No, uh, um, long bow, short bow. Uh, it would be a long bow. Yeah. Long bow, a strength long bow is uh, 420, Jim. So he can hit that range uh, at medium range. Yeah, yeah, of course he can if it was light, but it's midnight. It's pitch black. I think I can fix that. <laughs> well, you haven't yet, young man. While he I, shoots, I hit two... one. Okay. Uh, what numbers did you get, my good friend? <laughs> uh, Fifteen for one. Okay, a natural was... fifteen. Yeah, set it a minus <laughs> four. I, I rolled a seventeen. Plus, I have a, 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 a seventeen dexterity. So then I minus four off of that and came with a fifteen. Okay, very good. All right, that's a... and do your damage, young man. He's going to take six points of damage. Okay, that's tragic beyond belief. Did you poison it? <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! You cannot ask that, bold cavalier. Okay, so I put... But I did. <laughs> <laughs> you told I me put... not to tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put an has... arrow in your chest for four points of damage. Okay, but he has to save versus death poison. No, he's dead. Okay. okay. He doesn't have to save, Jim. Yeah, I, thank you very much. <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound. Shake it off, Prometheus. Okay, where is Prometheus? Okay, and, and did you really poison the arrow, my friend? No. <laughs> okay, so I need to hear these things. Well, then and you then, tell me, like, I do that, and then you're like, everybody knows. Well, okay, <laughs> so, so what happens is they see, they see <laughs> white stuff or green stuff on the arrowhead, and they all assume, no matter, even if it was muskmelon, they assume it's poison. Okay. That's what happens. But okay. you didn't poison it, so they aren't using poison. So okay. are they, if the orcs are assuming it's poison, are they ratting him out to, like, TMZ or something like that? <laughs> no, we would assume as the party that it was poison. The, the paladin would not like it. Even if it's a monster, you don't poison him. Isn't that right, oh. paladin? Well, I mean, if we're just talking like a little diarrhea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking death poison. They well, I, I frown on that, yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the roof now is a blazing inferno. Now we will fight in the night. And there must be at least, oh my goodness, there must be at least 50 orcs out there shooting arrows. 5-0? Yes. Okie dokie. Sounds like a good time for a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going uh, to provide the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. Um. What's that old saying, James? Uh, teach, uh, build a fire for an orc, and he stays warm 
for a few hours, uh, set an orc on fire, and he stays warm for the rest of his life? Yes, exactly right. <laughs> We're here to help the rest of his life. Yes. Um, I'm going to um, wizard sight them and uh, scream roast them and send uh, my first fireball at a 200-foot trajectory for a 30-foot diameter. Okay, very good. Do the damage on that for me, my Yeah, we don't have to worry about getting hit, James. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. <laughs> Damaged, Andrew? 20, 27. Very nice. Well done. They are definitely well done. Yeah. Okay. Based on me. All the orcs vanish from sight. The, okay. hmm. Hmm. the house is burning down around you. Uh, I'll have everyone come out and then dispel it. Okay, it's dispelled. Okay. Uh, looking around, do we see any more orcs? You see a bunch of fires all around, but no orcs. Disappointing. Mm. <laughs> and it did not appear uh, invisible or illusion. I don't see anything like that. Uh, 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 roll a six-sided die. I shall detect evil. Okay. Uh, you detect no evil in your range of detection. And five, you rolled a five, Andrew. You see no illusions or unusual magics of any sort. Jim, I'm hiding in shadows. Uh, no. By a tree? No. It's pitch black? It's, it's kind of fiery. Well, then it creates shadows. <laughs> you know, I don't think I can argue with that. Okay, you, you, suc you, su game. you successfully hide in shadows. I so will stand was, next to the paladin, so my aura of non-fear will will save him from himself. I think that's wonderful to do. Yes, of course. Stuff and, and nonsense. And then out of the <laughs> darkness comes a huge blast of arrows. Okay, so. Ooh, good thing you're standing in front of me, JR. It is really good. <laughs> yes. Okay, so seven of your retainers have died. Just from, like that. From we'll rise wounds. them back up. Yeah, I don't think so, my good friend. Um, okay, and uh, lots of arrows coming down all over the place, Yeah, and you mm. s cannot see wh where they're coming from. Even within provision. Um... Let me see. No, not within your range of improvision. What dragon sight? I haven't been told someone is using dragon sight. I'll look oh. out to my full range at 240. You see a two-headed troll. You see a hill giant. And you see five or six orcs um, a good, <clears throat> I want to say, 250 yards away. But you suspect there's lots more orcs in the darkness shooting arrows at you. And there he goes, looking up the rules again to spoil my pleasure and joy. Yes, checking my range. Good uh, yeah. maybe, 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 and we could maybe do an ad real quick while we figure out how to defeat uh, James M. Ward. Let's <laughs> DM. Uh, let's yeah. see. Uh, John, what ad do we have to run? You're muted, Boomer. Yeah, Got to be that guy. Yeah, we have tons and tons and tons. Why don't we start out with uh, Mr. Rothman's book uh, that uh, he was talking about the other week, Running from Destiny. Oh, yes. Uh, Running from Destiny is actually book one of a three-book series that's coming out uh, any moment now. Uh, it, it's, it's available out on Amazon now, and uh, it would be a uh, fantasy... Uh, Actually, magic realism, my first attempt at magic realism. So most of it is set in our world and uh, uh, kind of twists, you know, it, it's a twist on urban fantasy. So Nice. Uh, That's cool. Hope, yeah. hope folks enjoy. I love those books. All right. All right, Andrew, what did you discover? What's their distance, Jim? Uh, 310 yards. And they're shooting arrows. I didn't say they were shooting arrows. I thought we were covered in arrows. Somebody you shooting are. arrows. Yeah, someone's shooting arrows. Go slow with me like I'm a four-year-old. <laughs> um, imagine, imagine a big circle of orcs hiding behind trees and in the trees, firing, arcing their arrows down on your clumped group that are just sitting there uh, waiting to die from orc arrows. Roger that. 
So okay. using basic human geometry, are we able to triangulate? Uh, no, the, it's dark. Fire. It's pitch dark. You said We're calling it an airstrike. No, never mind. You said there, you said there was fire. So yes, we, there's fire by you, but there's not fire by any of the orcs. Right, but we can see the the direction the arrows are entering the firelight. No, they're they're arcing. They're they're coming down straight down from above you. Okay. Lunging fire. That's why they're hardly hitting you because there's just lots of them coming down. And I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put my shield up over my head, Jim. I'm what no a great, dummy. What a great idea. Nine more of the retainers died. Dear Lord. Uh-oh. Isn't that all of them? No, no, that's 16 of them. There's uh, there's two left. Three <laughs> left. <laughs> Boy, you're going to have a hard time uh, uh, scoping some new crew uh, there, JR. Well, I mean, he's got that reputation. He doesn't like retainers, so he just murders them all. But he'll <laughs> answer for this in the afterlife. Anubis will see to it. There uh, we go. Your I'm leadership is what it is. The Cavalier and the Paladin are not charging the giant. I don't know why they're not charging the giant. I am ready to charge. He says okay. we don't know where they are. Oh, no, yes, no, they know. Andrew can point right at them. The Cavalier should know as a military leader that the best way to respond to an ambush is to attack straight through it. I will show you how it is done, Reggie. My three surviving men, and we will destroy this threat. You may sit back and be safe. I'm going <laughs> to mount up and ride straight at the, the arrows, because after enough have come through, I know where they are now. We we don't. They're know over there. The we don't know where the arrows are, but we do know where the hill giant and the trolls are. Yes, you do. So we we can attack that. What I would uh, say is, let's get a ground attack going on the trolls and uh, the uh, the the giant. Um, and and try to destabilize that because that's the only thing we can do rather than just sitting here and taking fire. Okay, so right now it's just the cavalier and his three retainers. I that would, is enough would, for would, all would, of them. I would commit the paladin, the ranger, and the monk to that attack. I, mm -hmm. Are they willing to start running? Sure. The, uh, uh, Andrew, my dead uh, retainers have horses they could borrow. Uh, uh, okay. Lances too, if they need. Andrew, right. do you know, do you know what my throwing arm is good for uh, as a monk? Uh, if I'm gonna throw like a flask of burning oil at at a target, uh, no, I don't know what my our fastball. Normal range okay. is is thirty outdoors, so thirty yards. Okay. All right, so I have to be within melee, give or take. Is, is moving through the shadows and silently uh, towards the giant and the trolls. Okay, so uh, is Prometheus going? He's going in a in a, a flanking route. Okay, that'll take more time. I understand, but I'm also... Okay, very good. Is, is Reggie going? Uh, yes. On my okay. horse or no? You can be on your horse if you'd like. Seems smarter. Okay. Is uh, Drawn's not going, are you? Uh, I am plotting some stuff. Do we have in the background... Uh, I mean, uh, look look above me. Is the... Uh, it, what's the weather like? It's cloudy. You can't see the moon. I love when you say shit like that. Um, oh, I should be cleaning my soldier mouth. Uh, <laughs> as they're um, mounting up to go, uh, can I see the hill giant and all those guys? No. Ooh. Uh, Wordna, can you illuminate these guys? Fairy fire, anything that will give me uh, some frame of reference? I will be able to next round. This round, I'm going to... Uh go from invisibility to levitate so I can get that triangulation and reduce my uh, vector. Do you, uh, up do, you Don't we have lots of fires like all over the place randomly? So you should be able to have a pretty good visibility to what's going on around you. You should, but naturally they're not standing by the visible fires. We'll have okay. some, we'll Which have takes some us to Levi, are you charging with the rest of the group? I am invisible and charging. Yes. Okay, that does cause problems roll a six out of die whatever you do don't roll a six <laughs> well let's see uh no pressure yeah, probably the right. only session that you wanted to get a low number <laughs> yeah uh two okay very good and lance you're charging yes sir and what about what about the fabulous ranger are you charging anna <clears throat> 
no, I, I'll use my bow and and kind of get that one up ready and, and see what I can find for targets. Okay, you don't see any targets at the present time. Okay, but, but you, I'll, but I'll keep you're ready. ready. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So there's three, there's a total of six people going towards the the hill giant and the troll and the orcs. Mm, I'm going to get them. Okay, <laughs> they'll write good. songs about us if you live, Reggie. Uh, well, I'll find out. Okay, so now I'm firing arrows at the people. Miss, miss. Hit, hit. Was you, JR? <laughs> yeah. It bounces off my armor. No, I'm kind of going to roll. I'm invisible. I have to roll randomly for all this. Okay, yeah, Lance, my good friend. Uh -oh. oh, it never goes well when he calls you his good friend. <laughs> Lance, you just took five points of damage. Thanks, Jim. I, I, I you, shake it off. Just but a flesh wound. Yeah, exactly. No big deal at all. And two of your retainers are killed. You won't be satisfied till they're all dead. I don't know what you're talking about, my good friend. Hmm. Lance, there he is. Okay. So Can fine. we... Man, we need a necromancy guy so he can just keep raising the retainers. Boy, that would be so us. handy, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness! Okay, you Coming guys right are, you guys are there. Okay, you see, lots more orcs behind the hill giant and the troll. And, Target rich environments. And you're charging, so you guys can attack first, starting with my good friend Levi. All right. Well, I've got uh, so I, I believe I can go ahead and throw two flasks of oil. I believe at... you could throw one flask of oil. I got two. I've got two attacks. Yeah. Okay. Great. You can throw one flask of oil. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I will throw one flask of oil against my biggest, largest, beefiest target. Well, that'd be the hill giant, of course. All right. Armor class four. All right. Let's see what I get. Uh, roll. Oh, uh, there we go. Twenty sided die. <laughs> I get a sixteen. That's a nice hit. Okay, roll a one d six, and it's burning brightly. And do I get any pluses on this? Nope. Uh, I get a five. Okay, it roars in pain and anguish, and is still burning. And that was Levi Reggie. And hopefully Did he gives, I, us, so he gives a, us more light. So we can hold on, hold easier. on. As a cavalier yeah. on a mounted horse, I can ride faster than most when I'm attacking with my lance. So shouldn't I get to attack next? My good friend, JR, this is all simultaneous. Okay. okay. So everybody's attacking. It's all happening at the exact same time. And then they're going to respond to this attack. I'm letting you guys go first because you charged. I will have a stern talking to you with my mount about going too slow then. I should have been there first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reggie. I shall smite the evil of the giant with my heavy lance. Okay, very good. Roll a 20-sided die. It's armor class 2. I roll a 12 with my charisma modifier. It turns into a 15. I have hit well below the beast's armor class. That's okay. how you D&D, &D, James. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm so very proud of him. Okay, so do your damage. I damage 15 plus this is one sad. point of damage for each level, five. That's 20 points of damage plus, no, that's it. No, wait, wait, wait. Plus eight for my strength. 28 points of damage, Jim. That's Third very, gym. very impressive, my good friend. Okay, that's Tell me how the blood pours out in. <laughs> Gouts of gore all over my lance, Jim. I yes. need to hear it. <laughs> so what happens is you strike his chest and um, <laughs> yes. you hear a bellow of pain and anguish. And <laughs> yes. This huge chunk of flesh pops off his body. Right off. And, oh, my goodness. It's terrible. And, and much of his, his fur tunic falls to the ground. And no, that's, that's makes him tumble um, <laughs> because he he hurt himself and the, the clothing are causing him to not attack as well as he might have this turn just because of you. Does Can he whimper? See? No. Does he cower? Does the evil uh, cower? No, he doesn't cower. I told you <laughs> he, he groans in pain and anguish. Well, that's something. That's something, which takes us to Lance. <laughs> I will attack with my mighty Lance named Lance. Uh -huh. And I will roll a natural 
<laughs> 20. Who are, you, who are you attacking? The big one. Okay, very good. You rolled a 20. Yeah, he rolled a natural 20. A natural <laughs> 20. <laughs> yeah, we so don't care. And now for my attack Why with my lance. Care, Why don't we care? Because there's no critical hits in this game, but you will be happy to know that I've put equipment in here that when you roll a 20 with your Vorpal Blade, wondrous things happen. Well, wondrous things blade. are about to happen for me because I got 24 points of damage oh on this monstrous goodness. creature. That is Tell me he's amazing. dead, James. Tell me he's dead. He is not even close to dead. Oh, you no. did it wrong, James. That is not how you D&D. Only 24 <laughs> points, huh? It's, it's, yeah okay so okay now now it's their turn to no wait did i get everybody yes i did Lance get... and levi and reggie Prometheus, you didn't go well i've got one retainer left right he gets to attack anna yeah, okay, and go ahead. Uh, anna and wordna didn't go either right so go ahead uh use the retainer a natural 19 oh that's very nice 19. and he's using a lance he also is using a lance okay that's at the giant yes sir and that's okay. 3D. No, I got this one. Oh, you're rolling it? I got your retainer, yeah. Okay. So do I need to roll damage for the lance? No, my good friend, you don't. Okay. Okay, so I I'm now, sure that killed him if I if you know. Yeah, you know, it's it's possible. Well, oh, this is gonna be so nice. Let's see who this gets. Wait a okay. minute, wait a minute. Did did we even finish our our side of the melee? Yeah. Didn't word did we not go? We're, no, Warden is not in this melee. Oh. He stayed back. He no, stayed back. We're in a walk forward, so I've moved just yeah. my movement. Okay, it's is great, but uh, but they're really upset by Levi for some reason. Because he was kung fu fighting. <laughs> okay, and what's Levi's armor class? Uh, negative okay. nine. No, it's it's <laughs> zero, young man. It's zero. So I only get two of those. Okay, so. Levi, the, the two-headed troll claws at you and bites you, but um, only the two bites work. Is it the two-headed troll or the giant? The two-headed troll. Where did the giant go? The the giant is being attacked by everybody else. Oh, so the, the two-headed troll just showed up? The, no, he was oh, there. He, was, he just, was next to it. They oh. ignored the two-headed troll. Oh, I got which you. Which, it's kind of their own fault. When uh, 13 points happened to my good friend Levi. Oh. I know. Levi. Shake it off. It's a flesh wound. Oh, it's uh, way more than a flesh wound. I may have to drink one of my healing potions. Come on, Levi. <laughs> Aren't you monks good at dodging? They are good at dodging, but he's, de <laughs> he's decided not to dodge. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's a big day for you, Jim. <laughs> okay, now, orcs. One hit. The orcs see the mighty doom seekers Two, quiver in fear hits. and run. Yeah, that doesn't happen yet. It could happen actually. Okay, I only get four hits. They are. That's called a morale check, and we're about to have them check. Well, you haven't killed enough orcs to have a morale check. I'm here to help. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Levi, you take an arrow to the chest, my good friend. But you're still an adventurer. You are not happy. <laughs> you are down to. 22. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. Three. Sensei would be proud. You struck first, you struck hard, and you showed no mercy. Cavalier, right. you take three points in the chest. Tis but a flesh wound. You were really hard to hit, too, but I rolled a, I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> James, these don't count in this game. <laughs> just, think, no, just think of the no. joy you'd be having if we pulled out the 1984 uh, critical hit. And, uh, you know, uh, like like you Gary Gygax. Eye or get rid yeah, of an arm. Yeah, yeah, great, great. Like Gary Gygax, anytime you guys want to go to critical hits, just tell me and the whole adventure will be critical hits for you guys and the monsters. And I guarantee you guys will not want to ever do critical hits again in your mm -hmm. lifetime. So, I like I guarantee it. I like my 18 come later. Yeah, <laughs> mm. exactly. Look at that. Okay. Levi, you take another three more points. They really hate you. Mm. You're down to uh, 17, my good how friend. Many, how many, to clarify, so there's a giant and two trolls, right? Or one and, troll? and men, there's one troll here, and there's many orcs. Okay, so can we get a count on the orcs yet? No, because they're in the dark, and you guys... 
So you know that in this round you have John doing something, Verdna doing something, and me doing something. Yeah, when it's your turn. Okay, I just want to make sure. I'm I'm with you there. You guys will get a great chance. Look at that. I rolled a twenty and a one. That's a tragic. natural twenty and a natural one, Jim. Yeah, great. great. Uh -huh. So it takes out its weapon impressively and throws it across the room. That would be nice. Okay, Lance, five more points in your chest. You don't <laughs> they hate you. You don't seem to care very much. They don't seem to be doing anything. You okay, so I laugh at them. <laughs> now that, that takes us to our good friend Anna. Okay, do I see any targets? Uh, no, well, no. Well, you see, amongst the me layers, you see the troll and the hill giant. Well, I can. I if I move closer, will they be in range? Well, do I need... that, isn't that kind of an obvious statement, Anna? Yes. Okay, I'll, if you move I'll close change. enough, they I'll will change. be in range. Yes. Yeah. Be nice okay. to the guest. Okay, I'm sorry, okay. Anna. No problem. That's I, good. Point it out. I wish, yep. I wish to apologize, Anna. No, no, no. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> so I just... you, you are now moving close enough to be in range with your bow, okay. I'm assuming. And in second edition, when you shoot into melee, is that a risk that I will hit some friendly... You know, fire, is that is, a, I love that question, Anna. Okay. The, <laughs> oh, no. the answer, the answer is yes. But also when you look at all the other people playing in this game, they have all fired into melee and okay. hurt their friends. So they I could, don't care need to worry less. about it. Okay. So yeah, good. don't so, worry about it at all. Really enjoy yourself. Uh, I was 17. No, uh, no, it's not your turn yet. You're getting within damn. range. You're getting ah, within okay. range. Okay. Don't you want to let the guests have fun? Yeah, I do, but I'm sorry. Let her get, there's, let her there's... get one shot. She rolled a No, 17. no. She's <laughs> not, she's not honor, within range. Yeah, My client is being not represented by the court. <laughs> <laughs> Chromesius, it's your turn, my friend. Well, I was taking a flanking route against the Giants and the Assassins. Yes, you were. You aren't there yet, but you're getting close. <laughs> so am I Am I at least in a position to see the orcs? Oh, do you have infravision? I don't remember. I sure do. I'm an elf. Yeah, you see, you're a half elf. Uh, wow! Well, hey, come on, don't be a good half. half. <laughs> <laughs> a good half, yeah. I'm okay. an elf in all the right places. Yes, you see, you see at least six orcs and maybe more. Okay. Um, and they can't see me because I'm hidden and everything like that. They have infravision as well, my good friend. Okay, I will put uh, two arrows into one of them. Okay, very good. Roll. It's an armor class four for those boys. Aim for the eyes. Okay, I'm going to get an uh, ch -ch -ch a nine. Okay. And I'm going to get a 18. Okay. You kill Stop. an orc. All right, good. Outstanding. Which takes us to Andrew Wordna. Um, after moving my maximum movement, I will now uh, say one express elevator to hell going up and raise less than half of my levitation height so that I still have enough casting time. And then I will choose uh, near, near, near at the two-headed troll. Okay, before you do that, yep. we get up in, amongst the, the upper reaches of the trees. Please okay. roll a six-sided die and don't roll a five or a six. Okay. Three. Okay, you can see the troll. You okay. know there's people around the troll. What do you wish to do? I'm, I'm going to give him five magic missiles, which are automatic hits. Oh, I know. I can't do that. Okay, do me the total damage. Near, near, near. That is how uh, you play D&D, &D, folks. <laughs> wow, the, the crowd's going bloodthirsty right now, James. In the audience, they're saying, um, kill us all, but be nice and kill Ann last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, doing my <laughs> I'm doing my best, subscribers. Maybe if there were a few more subscribers, I would do more damage to the group. <laughs> wow. That's 21 to the troll. Yeah. How much? 21. Oh, that's very nice. And Walt, okay. do we have time for an ad while we take a moment? I here think we do. And oh, If you I, wish. I think, uh, you know, with her, her amazing 17 that she got, Anna should go next for our ad. Anna, would you like to talk about your website? 
Okay, yeah. So, so yeah, I'm a man I be Meyer, and I do maps, fantasy maps for a living. And my site is primarily about my Greyhawk work. I do a lot of other stuff for, for other publishers. I worked for Cobalt Press for like six, seven years and done a lot of their Midgard maps and, and probably about half a dozen other publishers as well. But my, my main focus when I'm not working on commissions for other publishers is to do Greyhawk maps. And they are creative commons, so anyone can download them and use them for free. And you can get them at uh, annabemeyer.com or you at patreon.com forward slash annabemeyer. And, and you can download. And if you want to help me work, work, put more time into working on my Greyhawk maps, you become a patron. And, and you can get some info first. And you can also tell me what I should work on as one, Very one cool. of my patrons. So, yep. How did you develop a passion for Greyhawk maps? Uh, well, I, I started gaming like 40 years ago, like 1979, 80. So I'm, I'm in your age bracket, so to speak, when it comes to gaming. Uh, you're, and, you're making an assumption there, Adam. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> so, so, but the thing was that that as any you know, old gamers, we want to create monsters, rules, adventures, whatever. But I realized that most people are so many much more creative and smart when it comes to creating all that other stuff. But maps was my passion, been for for decades. So I realized that that's my niche that where I can kind of specialize in so so I started to do and Greyhawk was the setting that that became my passion so to speak so that's early days your, of what, gaming and I just stuck in there what was your first character in Greyhawk uh, well, I was actually running games in Greyhawk for years and years and years. So, so oh, wow. I only did occasional guest appearances in other people's campaigns. So oh, it was okay. my, my job to run games for okay. back in Sweden where I grew up. It was like yeah, running games for like 30, 20, 30 years, something like that. So, yeah, so, so I moved to California 10 years ago and, and before then. So, so but the, the good thing is when after I moved here, I have a chance to, to game much more than just running games. So, yeah, so that's good. Very and cool. then tell us a little bit about your podcast that I was on a few weeks back. Oh, yeah, it's not mine. It's my uh, good friend, uh, Jay Scott. He has a Lord Gusumba uh, channel, and he does live games on Thursdays. And, and he's been gaming, at, running Greyhawk campaign for 40 years. And, and he's doing with miniatures. He has the most awesome game basement you can imagine with thousands of miniatures and terrain and all that. And he streams on the Lord Gusumba Twitch channel. So he has shows like three, four times a week and games every Thursday. And then there's some talk shows, Gavin on Sunday, and, and Lenin's and Lore when I usually on as well. And that we talk about, it's a talk show where we talk about the, the setting of Greyhawk. And then, then uh, Gary runs his games on Thursday, and there's a, a Gabin show on Sunday. So, yeah, so so that's where I'm usually on the Gabin show, and I'm I'm participating in some of his games too. He has special games on Saturdays and other conventions and stuff like that too. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah, do, do tell us Svenska. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So, what in the world was that, Levi? That was awesome. <laughs> That was, uh, yeah, uh, 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 I was surprised you speak uh, Swedish. So, okay. Oh yeah, I speak Swedish. That's my uh, first uh, language. Okay. In English, I'm I'm just dabbling in English and and like three, four other languages. So yeah. Well, you're doing a great job. I love yeah. to go to IKEA and back to the action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that yeah. wasn't messed up at all. Yeah, really. Yeah. Okay, so well, uh, we've got uh, what was it? No, I think we're. Um, Andrew is tossing a spell. I'll oh, toss the magic missile spell. Did horrific damage to the poor troll. Okay, Good. so now, um, Anna, would you please roll a twenty-sided die for initiative? Okay. Because I rolled a beautiful seven. I rolled eleven. Oh, that's disgusting beyond words. So, <laughs> Anna, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, I want to fire, shoot at something. This, this okay, what are you going to shoot at? The troll, the giant, or the orcs way in the back? I. Uh, the, the giant. We need okay, to get him so under control if, first. If you miss, you have a chance of hitting your very good friend. I'm, I'm going for it. So yeah. Okay. Yeah! Very good. I, li I like yeah. the attitude. Huzzah! Oh, yep. wait a minute. Wait, I made a mistake. John, oh. you didn't do anything this turn. Um, so I have uh, two targets that I can see. I have a, uh, a giant on fire and his good buddy right next to him. Yeah, but they're they're out of your spell distance. Nah, not they're not <laughs> not this one. <laughs> they're three hundred and ten yards away. Luckily, I have a three hundred and sixty foot range on this. Um, no, 
Yards drunk. Oh. Yards. Oh, 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 that's all right. Spell distance converts to yards outside. Okay, no problem oh, then. You're uh, disgusting, Andrew. I'm going to get you for that, buddy. Page 14. <laughs> ah, yes. So they're still within range. I call okay. lightning. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that could that could easily hurt many friends. Uh, I call it uh, far enough back, so I call it on the back side of the uh, escarpment, so that uh, the orcs and the two-headed troll are going to take the brunt of this. And that way, because they're on the, uh, they're on the, all of our friends are on the front side of the escarpment, just reaching and, and impaling and charging. Uh, they're not going to get hit by this at all. Okay, do me a favor and roll a six-sided die and tell me the number. A two. Okay, a great big lightning bolt comes down and uh, and strikes the ground and definitely kills some orcs for sure. Do you want my um, damage on that? No, I don't need that. I don't need <laughs> your damage. Um, kill some orcs for sure, and it might have hurt the troll, but you aren't sure. That's all right. If I get a whole batch of orcs, I'm happy with that. Yeah, really. Okay, so now it's Anna's turn. Okay. So I roll, and I roll 15. Okay, and what's your Thacko, dear? My Thacko on this one. Let's see if I can find my... Where's that on this character sheet? Uh, Must Thacko, be there 17. somewhere. 17. 17, very good. Okay, so you do indeed hit. Do your damage. Okay, that is 1d8. This is plus, so tragic. Uh, plus something, I think, plus two. So that is four points. Four bold points. Prometheus, yep. the mighty. Okay, so how many orcs did I just see taken out? Uh, there's only one left in that pile that you were looking at, and <laughs> it's shaken. And I'm scanning, so I see it on. I see an on fire giant. I see a wounded, lit up troll. I'm also scanning, scouting. I'm scanning for any kind of counterattack from off in the darkness. Do I see anything? Okay, you do see a band of eight or nine orcs. Um, kind of behind you and to the west. And what is their intention? They have bows in their hands. They're going to shoot everybody to death. Okay, I'm going to fire at them. An arrow on two different ones. Okay, very good. Roll and roll. Uh, we're going to get a five, which is probably going to miss. That's a miss, yes. And we're going to get a seven, which is going to miss. Hooray! That takes us to word now. Um, at this distance... I will start by looking at the troll and say, park it. I'm not going to like that, am I, word now? No, saving throws at minus five for you, Mr. Troll. And what's it do? Old monster, fifth level. Ooh. Okay. That takes us to Reggie. He's drinking some liquid courage. You might need a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jim, so Jim, ever since I reached level five, I yes. learned that I could smite evil not once per day, but twice per day. Isn't that amazing? No. Not not even per day, per melee round. Well, yeah, okay, good. I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you swatting? I'm going after a yawn giant. Okay, very good. Roll oh. and roll. All right. I roll a nine eight. plus three is a 12 plus three is a 15. Armor class zero. Okay, good. You hit him. Damn it. And no, let's do your. Uh, you, did you hit him once or did you hit him twice? I can hit him twice? Y yes. Huzzah! <laughs> very good. The, the second is a natural one. Okay, very good. So, how much damage did you do? 16 plus. Okay. Five plus eight. That's an amazing amount plus of one. damage. That takes us to Drawn. Well done, Paladin. I know. Huzzah! <laughs> mm. uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to follow my friends in and uh, start crossing the river. So charging in. Okay, you can get to one of the enemy. Which one do you want to fight? Uh, I'll fight one of the untouched orcs. Okay, that goes. You're going past the troll and the hill giant to get to the orcs. Uh, I will hit one of the trolls then. No, there's only one troll. Yeah, well, he's got two heads. <laughs> <laughs> the more so, evil one. Uh, which, yeah. yeah. Which head are you hitting? I am going to hit the more evil one. Okay, roll in bones. Uh, I get. Uh, what's his armor class? 
His armor class is a very nice two. I got an 18 minus 3 that's, is 15, that's... but I had... Uh... Ooh, Seiko. This might be close. <laughs> this might be close, because I have that... Uh, in one of the previous sessions, I came up with a uh, a hammer, and that hammer has a slight curse on it. Slight curse. Uh, yep, I got him. I got him. Okay, very good. Damage. Damage. Uh, five, uh, 13. 13. Wow, that's a Do lot of Do I knock nice one points. skull into the other? Because that would be hysterical. Like those not, little beads not, on the desk. Not even close. Yeah. Which takes us to Levi. All right. Well, since I am not in a good shape to take another pummeling, oh what come I'm on, do, Levi! What I'm gonna do is yes. uh, uh, use my invisibility skill and uh, and take a healing potion and back out of melee ra range. Um. Um. No. Why? Well, you can't do all of that together. You can become it's only two things. <laughs> I, I get two attacks. It's, I can't. It's, I can't, it's I can't actually. Back away. It's actually three things. How you can I... you can back away, or you could drink your potion, or you become invisible. What would you like? I say Let's full contact uh, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. How about this? Healing potion and back away. No. Didn't I? Didn't <laughs> I? Didn't make myself clear. You can back away right and, and it'll get a free attack on you you can drink your potion or you can go invisible can he one call those, an uber one of those three no hit him levi oh okay well, all right so what let, 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 let's attack yeah, let's, let's okay, go Okay, so it. that so that's a new thing that you're doing. <laughs> well, because I, I, I'm not getting satisfaction out of either one of my choices. So. <laughs> okay, great. All right, All so right. roll them. Roll... D &D, where there's no satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Knight of Barsoom oh. says, Levi, get in there and win one for the Gipper. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm right. wounded. I'm wounded. Okay, go ahead. All right. First roll is a 14 and uh, on on the troll. Um, okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, the next one is uh, 17. Oh, that's yeah. very nice. How and, much damage total? Let's see. Now, I, I, I does the fire count on these things? Because I've I've got my uh yeah my 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 special bracer of fire thing. So. Um, you don't know. You want to try using it. Well, I, I, that, that, that's the. Uh, I, I'm announcing that I've uh, I've used it. I just don't know if it's, it adds up to the uh, to damage. Okay, so, very good. Uh, so on the first one, I get a five. On okay. The second one, I get a two. That's not. I'm assuming no fire damage at this point. Okay. Should I roll for fire damage? No, yeah. I'll take care of that for you, my very right. good friend. And that takes us to the incredible Lance. Incredible. You hear him say that, Reggie. He didn't call you incredible. All right, so I am oh, going to take my double attack this session. And uh, I guess uh, you're not making a double attack with a Lance. Well, I'm going to hit him, <laughs> pull back, and hit him again. No. No. <laughs> I had to try. Yeah. Hey, while you're trying uh, that, uh, we had Captain Kilgosha gift uh, a tier one si sub to the community as well as uh, a bunch of emotes. So, huzzah on three. One, two, huzzah! three. Huzzah! 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 <laughs> so Thank I you got, very much. Oh, sure. I got a natural 18, James. Oh, that's uh, a very nice hit. Do your damage. And now I'm rolling that. Is this the hill giant or the troll? The hill giant. I okay, only go for good. the mightiest foe. All right, I understand And that. I did 18 uh, points of damage. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Knight of okay. Barsoom is saying that's not how spears work. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not how you D and DJ are. Okay, very good. Now, okay, the giant falls over dead. See, that's how you do it, Reggie. That's oh, amazing. You do that it. was mo yeah. mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. Okay. Oh, do I get to roll for my uh, re retainer? No. <laughs> oh, and, and a point of order um, for rules, the uh, Crimson Hawk in the chat says, as the mayor of Crimson Hawk, he recruited an army for me and sent a thousand warriors our way. 
How nice. They were all eaten yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> this is the okay. most fun game ever. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> like a thousand and nineteen dead. Look at that. Lance Lance the troll Wait, finds you, you delicious and you are down to fifty two points. I am a sexy hungry man to me. The the hill giant died and you're hear, you're hearing lots of hooting and screaming as the orcs all leave the area. Um, so did the troll just attack? He is not held? He isn't held. Roger. I heard, I heard that. There, there's uh, the, the cat orcs. objecting. Yep. That's, that's my familiar. Raise yeah, really. Heart, please. Yep. So we are just facing a troll now. You're just facing a troll now. Oh, we could chase the orcs. And, it's nothing. And Anna, it's initiative time. Okay. I rolled a very respectable 14. Was it a natural 14, Jim? Oh, yes. I rolled 16. Oh, you're disgusting, Anna. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Th thanks for nothing. Yep. All right. You guys all get to chop the troll, and you kill it dead. Now right. we can go chase down the orcs. The orcs that are all gone into the night, yes. All right. I'm, uh, I'm going to outrun justice, Sir Jim. I will use... <laughs> After uh, pulling any items off of the troll, I will yeah. use Cleaver to ignite the parts. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to take blood before he does that. And <laughs> I'm also going to take a tooth and some sweat from the giant. You are such a ghoul. Hey, I can make potions and scrolls now. I need this. Uh -huh, there we go. Okay, so you burn up the troll to ash. After, after searching the body. Yeah, nothing on the body. Okay. And we look up, down, and all around. Yeah, okay. You, you don't find anything here. I'm going to heal myself a little bit. Okay, how much? Uh, well, what do I roll again for a healing potion? Uh, it's 1d8 plus, one. plus 1, my good friend. All right. Uh, I will lay 20 points of hands on the man. Really? Wow. All right, so, nice. I got, so I got an, uh, 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 7 plus 1, so 8 on my healing you are, potion. You are now at full strength, my friend. Awesome. So did killing the giants single-handedly get me back in Anubis's favor? <laughs> no, of course not. You've got to I told you you have to do two quests for the temple and you know what the first quest is. Plus Anubis knows it was me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Anubis cares about you, young man. You don't worship him. Anubis wants little, me to worship him. Can I get a little I first do aid? It. I took an arrow hit. He'd like a little first aid. I uh, uh, I hand Prometheus a, a healing potion. Oh, how nice! One d eight plus one. Uh, Chrome, that's you because you took it, so you can roll it. Okay, I'm rolling it. Let's see. Okay. Do I have a d eight? <laughs> oh, come <laughs> that on! That is not how you d and d, Nick. Yeah, exactly. really. Yeah. Oh, I know. I I know. I have a. Oh, here You're it is. Losing your old school credentials. Wow! Oh. <laughs> Four. Four. And did the it, guest just attempt to humiliate me? Yes. Yep. And she okay, succeeded James, admirably. James, open season. <laughs> <laughs> you're, back, just, you're, you're back to full, Prometheus. Just don't take any ointment from him. Okay, so um, the Cavalier is down many points. He's well, he's at fifty-two, but he's not happy about it. I walk by. <laughs> I walk behind him and I say, uh, "Were you injured in the in the assault? Were you hurt?" Yes, he was. Flash wound, but I could use some healing. Good man, and I pat him on the back. Yeah, okay, walking. you get nothing from the cleric, <laughs> and the and the giant has this marvelous large sack at his belt and in the sack you see a basketball sized sphere of gold naturally that belongs to the man who killed him me does fever tell us anything about it uh it's cursed it's a cursed what like golden basketball it's a Sir, cursed sphere of gold Sir, Reggie, will you detect evil on that please before we pick it up detecting evil but doesn't that was pal you, Sir Reggie. the pal the paladin does that naturally, so you right. don't want to use your spell. Right. For right. Hey, I can tell you right now. It's what, what can I tell them, Sir Jim? That it's, <laughs> <laughs> that it's evil. It's evil. So yeah, you let's give it to. Lance. You don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> no, I think we should leave it here. Leave it here. 
we I pull uh with with trickster in my hand. I ask uh I ask, see if I can detect traps. No traps. John, Just, can you remove curse on this? I have a scroll if you don't want to do the spell. Uh hold on. Let me I have uh I have one of those. All right, do it. All right. Uh, I remove curse on the item. Okay, it's removed. We're going to bag it. It's a 5,000 gold piece sphere of gold. Notice that Reggie did not want it, and he does not get a sphere of the loot. I didn't yeah, want the yeah. evil version. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so here we've got 11 dead orcs, a troll, and a hill giant. You're welcome. And you got a sphere of gold from the hill giant. Mm -hmm. Are we in shape to press the attack and keep them destabilized and off balance? We have a I ranger that can track them. Right. I would rather, yeah, I'd rather the ranger track back to this cave we were told about. Well, like rather than waiting until morning, like let's pursue and kill. Oh, yeah. I agree. 100%. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. that's what we're doing. Let's Actually, do it. First so of all, before that happens, with all the fighters out, I'm going to scream I have the power and touch all their blades so they can pick a flavor. And armor up. Okay, and how long does that spell last? It's going to give them two hours of juice. Okay, very good. You suspect that that cave might be more than two hours away. Oh. Maybe we can hunt some orcs down between now and then. Can we catch up to them and kill them? No, no. If, 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 if I think it's more than two hours, I'll hold off until we get within a closer distance. Okay, very good. So, Anna, are, are you tracking? Sure. Yeah. Okay, m m yeah, sure. Minus yeah. three on your die roll because it's pitch dark. Oh, damn. She's got blind fighting. Yeah, seven. Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. Hey, yeah. seven, though. She's rocking. Tracking. Okay, so, um, yeah, she tracks um, for three hours, and it's almost dawn, and you come to this huge cave. Okay. Tell us a Tra little bit about the, the size the of The tracks that. and the hill giant tracks lead right into the cave how big of an opening on the cave oh my goodness it's a good 40 feet um high and 30 feet wide does the sword detect any gems oh that's an excellent question or treasure. let me let me check for you my good friend or that's mad. a cool sword you can detect does the reggie oh, detect oh. any evil hey did anna just compliment the sword she yes did. yes she the did sword. Sword yeah. loves Anna. That's a cool <laughs> sword, she says. Yeah, there is uh there is an amazing magical gem in there that the sword wants. Anna, um Chrometheus has named his sword Fever, but the chat has nicknamed his sword Karen. Um, <laughs> so um yeah, the the sword is intelligent. And, uh, yeah, it's been an ongoing thing throughout the campaign so far. And remember, the sword just told you stuff and helped you, and it wants that gem. I'll tell you what, sword. We will give you that gem if you kill all of the orcs. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna... sure. It'll happily kill all the orcs. That's a deal. I'm going to uh, turn to the fighter types and say, all right, you guys park. Chrome and the ranger and I are going to go inside, and I'm going to cloak them. Uh, start with you didn't see anything. Nobody uh -huh, uh -huh. here. Didn't you already use that spell? Mm -mm. I've got two cloaks and I have my improved invisibility 10 foot radius. Oh, me. that's tragic beyond belief. Why, why do you even question Andrew? Like, what is that all about? Say that again? Why, James, why do you even question Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. While, while I trust Andrew with my life, uh, as a DM, I must make sure he's jotting the I's and, and getting the P's and Q's. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So um, you, you're as invisible as you guys want to be. And are you also using the one where Look, they can't hear or smell? Correct. That they can't be smelled and uh, nobody will hear them. They're silenced as well. Okay. Very good. So uh, I'm going to touch them both to Im imbue them with my vision so they can uh -huh, see uh -huh. what I see. Okay. And, uh, then we're going to move forward and maybe you can describe our 40 by 30 cave. Um, what are you using for light? Uh, we have continual and light. Or dragon, actually, they're touching me. They've got dragon sight right now. Are you sure you can share that? I am sure I can share that. Come we just had this conversation. Why are you questioning Andrew? Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't. I didn't think you could share dragon sight. My oh, understanding yeah. is anyone who's actually physically touching 
me, ergo Razor, has that capability as long all as- All right, all right, I'll give it How does the chat you. feel about James questioning our wizard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, chat- me, I understand, I'm trying to cheat. <laughs> you know, what they're saying is uh, Captain Kilgosha, uh, he said, I think if James really wants a total party kill or a total team kill on this, he needs to remove two things, the wizard and Karen. <laughs> Everybody hates Karen because because Nick Nick's wife is proud of beating up Karens. That's Which her wit. <laughs> Which um, takes us to um, you see an amazing sight in that cave. Huh? Um, you see seven two-headed trolls. Um, three of them are seven? definitely yeah seven. Three of them are definitely kids. Oh, um, easy kills. You. you <laughs> you see a great big pedestal with a gigantic bar of gold on it. Um, you, on the wall, the surface of the space, just so I can draw the room while you're describing. Oh, it's just a big cave room area. Okay. It's you know it's several. It's like 60, 70 yards wide and one hundred and ten yards long. Young troll can be nasty. I had an adventure when I had a bunch of, of teenage trolls that, that the parents didn't want to have them. So the clan chased them away and they were kind of frustrated and hungry and whatever. And they came and, and the characters were kind of, I never thought they would be that lethal, but they were damn. They were nasty. And, and these are two headed trolls. So they're How going many to. Exits do we see in this cave? You see one big long exit way to the uh, way to the north of the cave. Got it. Okay. Uh, and you said seven. How many of them are kids? Three. Okay. What else does the sword detect? Okay, my goodness, there's so many good things in here. There is uh, a big sphere of silver. There is a statue of a raptor. That looks kind of interesting. It's got fire opals for eyes. And your sword says, I want both of those fire opals. <laughs> and let's see. On the shelf, there's two ring cases. Uh... Okay, what else is there? All right, and there are three magical weapons um, on, on another wall. And uh, one of them, the paladin instantly identifies has a holy sword um, of, of vorpal cutting. Holy strokes. Give holy me that sword. Strokes. I know it's gigantic, but you aren't there, of course, right now. All right, so go slow with me because I missed the first two things. Of course. I, you know, I can repeat it as many times as you want. I got There's a statue of raptor with fire opals, two rings, yes. bar of gold on the pedestal. Yes, yes, yes. Five foot bar of gold. Yes, exactly right. Statue of the raptor, um, ring cases. What was the uh, thing before the raptor statue? What was before the raptor statue? And the answer is uh, a huge sphere of silver. That's what I didn't get. Thank you. And uh, I did the raptor. Um, oh, look at that. That's nice. Um, and the three weapons, of course. And okay. the gem. Hmm. And, well, yeah, the, in the raptor, it's got star sapphires for eyes. How big is that statue? That statue is raptor size, so it's like 15 feet tall. You said, though, the sword found a gem that it really wanted. It's in the raptor's eyes, yes. It's the it's the fire opals. Oh, raptor the pteranodon or raptor the dinosaur? Raptor the dinosaur, of course. That's about six feet tall, not 15. I'm afraid you're wrong, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> this one is 15 feet tall if it's an inch. And what kind of stone is it? What kind of stone is what? The raptor? Uh, you'd have to check it out. You're not close to it yet. Uh... All right, so how are we gonna do this? Well, um, do this. Uh, what is the general level of the lethargy state of the trolls? They're all quite active or on a big fire. They're, they're eating what appears to be humans. Okay, so uh, our choices are, uh, I can reduce a bunch of them. I can color spray and knock a bunch out that won't get saving throws depending on how many hit dice they have. I can affect up to six with color spray. Um, I can do uh, the uh, wondrous window pane. That'll uh, pump about 30 damage into them. Uh, I can polymorph the biggest one and uh, turn it into a gnat or something rude. Um, 
And the last thing I can do is cause total chaos in the center of their fire and grab four of them and, and drag them into the fire or do something terrible for damage. So what if we stay off to the side here in the cave and do that in the main force attacks, forcing the troll to the front and we hit them from behind? We can absolutely do that because you guys are 100% cloaked right now. Is that what we're doing? You yes. can attack from behind as well for extra damage. You can yeah, you can. Okay, so has has everybody but Andrew moves to the side? Um, the the suddenly the trolls become very agitated, and you hear the sound of drums. Oh my goodness, you've heard these drums before. These are uh, coming from the North Cave. Yes. Hmm. But now we're having the main body attack the front entrance. That hasn't happened yet, but you do hear the sound of drums and the trolls are very agitated. It's like someone tripped a spider web wire and uh, set up a warning. Got it. All right. Um, well, let's have the, I will um, start attempting from surprise and throw the uh, colored sand and scream RCA to try and color spray as many as I can. Okay, very good. And on the chest of each of the troll, a triangle appears and arrows spread out from the triangle. I could have predicted that one. Ah, crap. <laughs> Main body needs to attack now. And uh, this happened uh, in the last two adventures. Uh -huh. this, this drum that they're hearing is, is a highly magical drum that usually works with undead, but right now it's protecting the trolls from spells. Ooh. And Andrew is very unhappy. Yeah. It's good, though. Now we know. Okay, so seven of them, and they're, they're, they're looking for the enemy, but they can't see them anywhere. Oh, we charge, men. That's what we do. Yep. And Ranger. Yep. All right, front line. Go handle it. Is that what you're doing? Does that does our do our horses fit in? Can we can nope, we ride them? No down? horses, buddy. All right. At Forty by thirty, really? No horses. It's too the ground is too uneven for them. I see. Okay. Plus they're smelling troll and they're not happy. So that would be would that be Prometheus, Reggie, and Lance that are charging in? Oh, uh, no, Prometheus is off to the side in the back. Okay. So I think it's Reggie, Lance, uh, and either Levi or Dron, depending on what they want to do. Okay, what does Dron want to do? I'm going Dron, in. With, I'm Dron going. wasn't in the cave before. I'll go in with the hitters. Okay, you'll go in with the hitters. Very good. Okay, so seven trolls. Let me mark these fine young men. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, now, um, Anna, please roll an initiative die. I rolled an incredible three. And I rolled unnecessarily 20. <laughs> oh, geez. A natural 20, James. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> She's we get pretty. Two rounds? No, no. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? But no. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, let us start with uh, Reggie. So, Jim, if I were to grab the holy sword, would that be possible? Pull um, it off the wall and start swinging? You know, you know, anything's possible, my good friend, but you've had years of experience, yes, and you think true. there could be many ugly traps associated with that sword. Very well. I'll use a non-holy sword and attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's attack Mama Troll. Okay, very good. Um, your weapon bounces. That takes us to Levi. Well, I will uh, light one of my blessed burning you know, flasks of oil and uh -huh, uh -huh. throw it, throw it directly at the big mama. Okay, very good. Roll us, roll a hit. Uh, Armor class. Uh, hang on just a second. Armor class four. I uh, get a fourteen, which should hit. That's very Just nice. Barely. Okay, so roll it. Roll a d6 for me. All right, and a six. That's disgusting beyond belief. <laughs> okay, that was uh, Levi. We did Reggie. We're doing Lance. 
We're not doing Lance. You're muted, Boomer. Ooh. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt. Yeah. Right in my last feeling. Um, so uh, <laughs> since I am not mounted, I will have left my mighty Lance on my war horse. Uh -huh, but shouldn't uh -huh. be afraid. So I'm going to have to have words with his trainer. Uh, and I'm going to hit him with my Kopesh. That's the magical weapon, right? Correct. Okay, and who are you hitting? Uh, we're all aiming at the mother. We have to kill the mother. That poor mother. Okay, roll. All right. James, I got a, I got a natural 16, but with my strength and bonuses, etc., I get a 23, so I hit the mother. Uh, really? uh, okay, and damage. I'm going to, I'm going to make the logical assumption that this is a large creature, not a small or medium one. Very large. So, so naturally, I do 16 points of damage. Wow. That's amazing. And that's how you do it, Reggie. Yeah, really. Drawn, what you doing, buddy? I'm reminding oh, wow. uh, JR that Knight of Barsoom pre uh, prefer prefers the pronunciation Chopesh. So, yeah. uh, tell, uh, tell him we don't care. Um, I am going to uh, launch a, uh, uh, a thing of oil so that it, uh, it collides next to the children. And uh, they, um, uh, because they're all huddled around the fire, it should catch and uh, explode, covering at least a couple of them. 20-sided die. I love a 20-sided die. Uh, a 13. Okay. Damage 1d6. I love damage 1d6. Uh, four. Four. The poor, the poor little child troll cries in pain and anguish, wondering why the world is so cruel. Because it's evil. <laughs> uh, is my retainer getting to attack? Because he's not dead yet. Yeah, right, no, right. no, buddy. Your retainer was eaten in the last last melee. Well, I called upon Anubis to raise him with his necromancy skills. It, it, and Anubis, he gave them back. Anubis hates you. But he liked the retainer. <laughs> so do yeah. we all. No, no. You've lost all <laughs> your retainers. Your reputation is now in the trash can. And getting more retainers is going to be difficult for you. Which takes us to Wurda. I'm going to whisper to Anna and Chrome uh -huh, uh -huh. that I'm going to uh, go in corporal, in material and try and find the source of the drums. We can take out the drums. We can take this out. That's our biggest concern at the moment. Okay. And, and so invisibly, I'm going to head to the north passageway. All right. Um, what can I see looking it's down a, that it's path? A, it's a cave tunnel um, that angles down sharply. Um, um, what's the distance down that I can see at 240? Uh, you, well, you can see all 240. It's 240 down? Yeah, probably more. Okay, so I'm going to proceed down it. Okay, Anna. Okay. <clears throat> um, are there, there anything within firing range? Everything's within firing range, including every single one of your allies. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm not thinking about them. But I'll take one of the um, <laughs> big trolls. Okay, biggest, very good. The biggest one I can see. Yeah. All right, that's mother troll that everybody's attacking. Okay, then roll yeah. them bones. Oh, I all rolled four, so I missed. Okay, that's tragic beyond belief. Yeah. Okay, and please roll your damage. Oh, I hit. <laughs> oh, you hit somebody. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, five. Uh, that's seven. Okay, seven points of damage on our good friend the cavalier. Oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah, he's he sad. likes it. He has taken that kind of damage before. Thank so there's you, a big there's another. a big ranger arrow sticking out of your back there, my friend. Only that takes us to the bold and amazing Prometheus. Huzzah! I am going to attack a separate adult troll. There are three adult trolls, right? That there are four adult trolls. I'm going to attack a separate adult troll from surprise because I'm invisible and hidden. Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately for you, when you make the attack, you become visible. Yes, I understand that. I but I think I think you told me you were trying from behind. Yes. So he doesn't see you when you strike. Okay. And I'm going to tell the sword to turn him to stone. Oh, he only can do that once a week, you know. Yep. And now's the time to do it. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, you got to hit him first, though. 
that easily. What did you roll? I rolled an <laughs> 11 plus 9. Okay, very good. You're right. That is right. That is easily. Okay, so the troll tries to make a saving throw. <laughs> the troll <laughs> turns to stone, which is really irritating if you ask me. <laughs> Just seems wrong on so many levels. Okay, and that is everybody, I believe. Okay, now it's the troll's turn. Well, the remaining troll's turn. Yeah, okay, there's only one down, so there's six trolls there. Well, the, so the, the the first troll, I'm going to see who is going to The attack. children aren't frightened by their flaming friends? No, of course not. His skin is cooking one, off. One, two, they're, three, they're four, totally five. Cool okay, Drawn gets attacked. And... I'll bet you if Jason lit his neighbor kids on fire, his 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 children wouldn't attack. <laughs> <laughs> These are Ooh, monsters. They're not evil either. Okay, so I only do eight points to Drawn. Right on. Where, where is Drawn? There he is. Eight points. Right where I should be in the light of Horus. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. And then the next one attacks our good friend. One, two, three. Reggie. Or a bite, bite, claw, claw. Because of the two heads, right? Yes. And I miss with all of those. Of course you do. Of course I do. <laughs> and then the next one really likes Prometheus. No, that's wrong. I was hidden. Yeah. You attacked. Yeah, but I you're was not... hidden. Yeah, you was hidden. Now you're not hidden. But that's okay. I missed you completely. Okay. Well, Your armor class is too good. It's that's tragic. Right. Tragic. Okay, now this poor wounded troll really hates Levi. Can I even? I can't even. A, a troll runs towards the back of the cave. Then the oh, next one. He, he smells word now. He does. Oh, he's a coward. That's what it is. <laughs> Prometheus gets attacked again. Oh, no. Only because of cloak. One, two. Okay, so I do nine points to Prometheus. Oh, man. I know. That this guy's going to have to die. This battle's going to take a little bit because these guys are really tough. And I got one more troll. And he really wants... One, two, three. Oh. Another troll runs off north um, into the the darkness where Wordna and the other troll went. So now it's initiative time, and Anna, please don't roll high, as I roll a beautiful seven. I roll 11, so at least oh. it's higher. Yep. Anna, 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 you have to stop that. Cut well, it I, out. I rolled bad when I hit. Yeah, <laughs> I was supposed yeah, to hit something. There is that. So, yep. All right, yep. so this this troll and this troll are chasing Andrew down. Okay, that takes us to Anna's turn. What do you want to do? Uh, I, I want to run up and use my uh, saber instead to hit something so I don't kind of screw up my party too much. Is it magical, Anna? Uh, I don't think. Oh, yes, uh, yes, it uh, is. Plus oh. one, <laughs> yep. Why is it plus one, Anna? Because Andrew did the plus one thing. Yeah, she's oh, got a. She's got a. Okay. Yeah, she's got uh, enhancements from Andrew. Oh, that's irritating beyond belief. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's see if you hit. And technically, the cat, the paladin, should be plus one. I too. rolled nineteen, so I hope I hit. Do you your hit. damage. Okay, uh, it's a D eight. Uh, four points of damage. And four. Add two uh, D four. No, five. It's uh, plus one, so it's five. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anna, you add an extra two four sided dice of damage. Oh, okay. That's Fire disgusting. Damage. That is awesome. That's another four points then. Thank you. you is that by the because way, it's flaming or something? Or... Yeah, something. Okay. <laughs> some, some... You get to pick your element. It's just oh, okay. wrong is what it is. It's just wrong. <laughs> okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, that takes us to Prometheus the Brave. I mean, there's a troll that attacked me. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's two trolls that attacked you. Oh, okay. So one troll attacked me. What is his AC? Uh, Four. Okay, to hit AC zero, I need a five right now. Okay. So I'm going to attack three times. First one is basically a 25. The second one is a 21. That's really too bad. And the second and the third one is a 21. 
So okay. these are large creatures, right? Yes, sir. So I'm going to get a D12 on him three times. So I'll just time one D12 times three. Yeah, that's plus fine. I'm, plus I'm going to get fire damage, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to add two. We're going to add five, seven. We're going to do 51 damage to him. 51 points. Wow, is he still right alive? On. He is still alive. Yeah, my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're you're fighting one that has 65 hit points. Okay. So, so I'll Nick, wait, wait, wait. you, Prometheus. Okay, yeah. What'd you say, Levi? No, I was gonna say, wait, wait. Which one did Nick attack? Or you don't, you attack? don't know. It's all simultaneous. Ah. I know what you're trying to do. That takes us to word nah. Who down in a cave, buddy? And it's deep and it's wide. And you hear the sound of drums getting louder and louder. As I make my way down in the cave, what do I see? Uh, you're going to see this horrible thing. You're going to see a number five. You're going to see... Number five isn't like number two, is it? Number it's five alive! Almost exactly like it, yes. Um, you see a series of monsters on pedestals. Um, there is an unusual rack of weapons at the center of the area, and there are exits at each compass point, and you've come from the north exit. Okay. Uh, monsters on pedestals. Yes. How large is the space cardinal compass-wise? Oh, my goodness. It's huge. It's uh, about 120 yards by 90 yards. Where are those drums? He hears them, but he doesn't hear them from any specific direction. There, There is no specific. Okay. Uh -huh. Hmm. Uh, and how many pedestals are there? Oh, there's a good 15. You can't see them all from where you are because it's further than your, than your vision. Wait, give me the whole, you said 150 across, so... 150 <laughs> yards, yes. My by, by 90 yards. Your vision was 250 feet, isn't it? It's, it's indoor or outdoor. It's based on what your distance is. It's, it's indoor. Yours is indoor. So that's 250 feet. I see. And, and we're talking yards. Okay. I don't mean um, to be difficult. Understood. Um, so I am looking at pedestals, and I have three cardinal compass points. But no, there's no, um, there's no, not, there's no sources of movement here. Nope. And you hear the sound of feet behind you. Clearly trolls are coming to get you. Okay. But I'm cloaked. So I have no smell, no sound and no visibility. I appreciate that. <laughs> so that I am now immaterial. And I am going to head to the uh, east passage and see if I see any source of drums. Uh, you don't see any source of drums. You see uh, a giant dragon skeleton sitting uh, in a pile of gold. Whoa. This is to the east. Yes. And we keep going to my good friend Reggie. Sir Jim, how many times might I smite evil with this newfound plus one mace that does all the fire damage this round? Uh, just once. I'll do it once. Okay, very <laughs> good. Roll them bones, buddy. Armor class four. I do roll a 17. Oh, and that's that's disgustingly it. good. And that's how nice. much damage? I roll a three plus one. That's really terribly Four. weak, isn't it? But yeah. I have eight more for my strength at 12. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. And don't I get those D4s? Is that just for the ranger? Why would you get D4s? I want D4s. That's why. <laughs> uh, because uh, Wirtna <laughs> enchanted all our weapons. C correct. Any, uh, any of the six of them have access to one of the four elements. You could have got all six of them with that spell? I can right now that I'm ninth level, fifth circle. Oh, that's disgusting beyond belief. I got a question. Total. Does that end? Twenty-five hit points lost. Okay, very good. Not Thank mine, you. Though. Yeah. 
The, does that spell affect hands? No. No, Darn. of course not. Give me a break. That's okay, a that was Reggie. Tron, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to uh, whack at the, the troll that's uh, that they're beating on. Okay. That's Go. Mama, right? Yes, apparently that, that's the assumption. Uh, a 19. Uh, so that's 16. I still hit. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. damage, uh, 16 more points plus 2d4, he said? Yes. <laughs> uh, f five, uh, 21. That's disgusting. Let me see if it's still alive. 21, 37. Should be 27. burning pretty good, too. It's burning a little bit, and it's still very much alive. Not for long. What, yeah. <laughs> Takes us to Levi the Magnificent. All right, so I am, uh, let's see, I'm going to attack the one I attacked last time, the mother, I guess. The mother's okay. still alive? Yes. I assume so. Uh, what is my roll? Let's see, roll. Okay, so I have two attacks. First one was an eight. Uh, I, don't, I think I missed. Second one is a 15. Which that's should be a, that's hit. a hit. Do damage. All right, and uh, damage would be... I'm not going to like this, am I? A seven. Yeah, that's tragic beyond belief. Okay, and Lance, the bold. All right, huzzah. I will attack it with my mighty Kopesh. Okay. Take that, Knight of Barsoom. And I'm going <laughs> to use my uh, double attack this round with my Kopesh. This is really and too bad. Get a oh, 17. Gosh. Kopesh, that's what I said. Mm. <laughs> I got the first hit. Yes, yes. And the second hit. And for damage, it is 16 plus 13, which is 29. Do I add the plus one to every hit? Yes. So 31. Huzzah! Oh, my God. Walt, uh, is, is the chat enjoying this level of ferocity and bloodshed, or does it only enjoy party bloodshed? Um, they're, uh, they're, they're of mixed, uh, they're of mixed feelings right now because, uh, a few minutes ago, you guys didn't hear this, but I almost wet myself because <laughs> Captain Kilgosha found the sound bar that I embedded into the Twitch channel and he, uh, decided to play the Leroy Jenkins battle cry as at max volume. So if I'm screaming, it's because I can't hear myself talk right now. I see. <laughs> it's. I thought you were better at that. They shouldn't be able to get in on you that oh way. Oh, my God. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> How does, this chat, does the chat have a fan favorite right now? Are they a little worried that our wizard has gone off uh, violating one of the cardinal D&D &D rules? I know. Splitting the party. Me. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, Lord uh, Dalius is saying that he's not minding the action. The action is is pretty intense right now. Okay. It is, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I could, because Prometheus could kill somebody if they want me to. I could just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll even do the guess right now. What, <laughs> what do I need for subs? J James. So yes. first, they like your uh, your your sweater. It's a fan favorite with some of them. Yeah, go fans. Packers. And uh, Knight of Barsoom says he has a new request to kill the mighty Lance, uh, kill him so bad that his ancestors will weep because they know he's the best member of the party, clearly. That's not be, what he yes. said. I've, I've I was already, paraphrasing. I see. <laughs> I've, I've done plenty of damage to him, but now it's the troll's turn. So here we go. Okay, good. That person really dislikes Anna. Uh-oh. I know. Ouch, Captain Kilgosha. And your your uh -oh. armor class sucks. Hit, yeah. It. It's Look at that. I, I got everything but a claw. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to do so much fun damage to you. James, be nice to the guest. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's a my, random only my character. Role. It's only okay. my character. I know. Yeah. 25 points and of you're being, damage. You're being mean to Swedish people, the nicest people in the universe. The nicest uh, people in the universe, universe. Yes. Yeah. Anna yeah. takes 25. She's not happy about it. They no, gave us that's... Aquavit and Ludafisk and... Well, we have the nastiest food around that smells worse than ever. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure, really. Sure, sure strumming. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Okay, and next troll. Next troll really likes one, two... 25 three. points of damage, you said. Yes. Yep. The next troll really likes Reggie. Not surprising. Oh, I have good. 11 hit points left. Strike, strike. Mm. 
Okay, I only get two hits. That's tragic beyond belief. Do I have some healing? Okay. 17 points of damage on Reggie. I love these guys. They're doing such good stuff right now. 17 points of damage. Oh, look at that. You were back to full. I'll be fine. Yeah, I just keep saying that, buddy. Third <laughs> troll. Third troll really hates. Oh, no, Anna. Anna, you're looking delicious to the trolls. Yeah, I bet I do. I'm bloodied and messed up I'm right too, now. So yeah, I'm, you are taking. Can I uh, can I take more damage? Yes. Ooh. Okay, I'm doing 11 more. Oh, then I'm zero, so I'm unconscious. Yep. No, no, Anna, I've got you at, I've got you at uh, 21. Uh, Anna, they, uh, Andrew redid your, your hit points because uh, oh, when, okay. when I, um, when I sent you that sheet, I totally forgot that James maxes out everybody's uh, hit oh, points okay, when they come good. in. Afterwards. So, okay. And, so perfect. And it's yeah. clear that I need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Otherwise okay. it'll be a big trouble. That, yeah. can't, that can't, that can't, that <laughs> can't. Because right, you're too. softy, right, James? I know. Prometheus, because I don't want people to die, and I get accused of horriblenesses. Well, it TPK now and then. Oh, look at that. Good <laughs> two, two, like two natural 20s, Prometheus. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's a good thing you don't do critical hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was very well, you funny. Need to, you need to get some mirth 13. going here or something. I know, or something. Okay, 13, 20. So 27 you're down to, Prometheus. And... The last one, the really irritated, badly wounded one, really hates. So, so how, how many hit points do I have left after all the? I've got targets? you down to uh, 21, ma'am. 21, thank you. Yep. That's quite right. And Reggie takes one more set of shot heels. I only, <laughs> hit, I only hit twice, and unfortunately, they're the little ones. So I only do seven points of damage to Reggie. Now we're going to roll some very <laughs> We're about to roll some very important initiative. So I, I'm not <laughs> sure while, if I should have Anna roll it or not. Um, yes, the guest always rolls, Jay. Oh, Jay, so, she's, so she's before rolling. we roll for initiative, Captain Kogosha says he'll give 10 subs for you, James, if you kill Lance or the wizard. Well, I'm trying as hard as I can. <laughs> you do I separately from the party? Yes, you're way separate Wait, from the party. Wait, wasn't our 19 retainers enough for you? <laughs> First of all, they weren't your retainers. Jim, everything is mine. Everything's yours. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. So, all right. So, Reggie, you're down to 41. Too bad you can't heal yourself because you gave that to somebody else. Let that be a lesson. Okay, so, Anna, this is the bad part now. I'm going to roll a die and you're going to roll lower. Okay. I'm rolling a very nice 10. I rolled nine. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> well, guess what happens, boys and girls? Yep. Okay, yep. so let's let's go to our good friend Andrew in the caves there all by himself and alone has two trolls rush into the cave and start sniffing and looking for broken spider webs. Got it. What do you want to do, Andrew? Um Big, powerful, unwounded trolls. Got it. Are these, are these, uh, did the adult trolls come after me or the children trolls? You got one of each. One of each. The right. cowardly ones. Uh, <laughs> from surprise, I will target uh, the larger troll. Okay, okay. And uh, point at it like a frightened turtle. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Reduce and Reduce, you're going to shrink him down. Single inch. He gets a nice saving throw. Minus two. And naturally, he didn't succeed, so he's shrunk. He's very unhappy. And the 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 kid troll looks at him in horror. And then this ghostly spectral two-headed troll with gray flesh steps off a pedestal and begins charging you. Okay. Okay, so that takes us back to the fun people. <laughs> All right. Andrew's fun. One, two, three, four. Red boy, Reggie, they really hate you. Something fierce. Okay, four attacks. 
All of them missed. That's disgusting beyond belief. Even Anubis protected you, Reggie. Yeah, yeah. I have good uh, as a shield, you know. Two, yeah, that's great. Good as a shield, <laughs> fine. Re really, really good. Okay, so that's 12 points for my good friend Lance. Oof. He doesn't. I've got you down to, <laughs> to 35, my good friend. That's because I, I let my goodness be borrowed by Reggie. Yeah, so he yeah, can, yeah. He can be okay. saved. He's weaker. That's he needs the two help. Two of them. The, the third wizard one. is requesting to be saved in the chat, if anyone didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, Gandalf needs help. <laughs> yeah, great. I know I want to help him. <laughs> Look at that, only one hit on Lance for four points. So I've got you down to... That was... Uh, I got you down to 31, my good friend. One more attack. Come on, boys and girls. Five, one, two, three, four. Hey, Levi, they really hate you too. Levi! Dragons! Holy one. crap. Uh, <laughs> what happened, Walt? What oh. happened? <laughs> So <laughs> there's a there's a time delay on uh, how often you can use the the sound bar. So if you go to Twitch on the right side of the screen, you'll see two little tabs. One of those tabs is a sound bar that you can play with, and you can use bits to uh, launch sound effects. One of the ones I have loaded in there is the Leroy Jenkins battle cry, and uh, um, Captain Kilgosha just keeps like cranking the volume and hitting that and it scared the living crap out of me. Yeah. so before That's we funny. before we get to more damage um uh uh did uh <laughs> nick did you want to talk about your latest stuff real quick uh sure it's not the latest stuff but i figured uh because it's halloween and because it's scary i would throw up the one zombie novel that i wrote it's uh basically called the end of the world as we know it it is about uh, a couple trying to find each other after the zombie apocalypse uh, one is in New York, one is in L.A. It's pretty tense, pretty fun, pretty exciting. But if you want a good zombie read for Halloween night, then I would go over to Amazon and get The End of the World as We Know It by me, Nick Cole. Thanks for letting me share that with you guys. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, Levi, you're down to 20 hit points, my good friend. Ugh. And now it's everybody's turn, but my good guys, starting with Andrew. Can't touch this. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> what is that going to do, Andrew? Mirror image means you now are looking at four of me. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> All right. That takes us to Anna. Okay. It's time to use my saber again on the troll mothers. Yeah, oh, she's on the still troll. Around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she's still around. She's badly wounded, but still yep. around. And I roll 11 uh, plus two. Does that hit armor class four? Uh, no, I don't think it does. I've okay, very good. Safety. That's that's a miss, Anna. What a shame. I'm so yep. sorry. Damn. Yeah. And I only have one attack, I think. I know. I think so, too. Yep. That takes us to Prometheus the Brave. So I'm facing a badly wounded one that I jacked up, right? Yes, jacked up okay. something royal. I only get two attacks this round. I that's hit. too bad. I hit. Um, he's going to take, I'm not going to like 12. this. Well, he's going to take 14 plus he's going to take <sighs> another eight, uh, plus he's going to take fire damage. That's 22. He's going to take, um, 29 damage. Wow. Okay. He falls to the ground. Takes us to word oh, word to cast this spell. Okay, it takes us to Reggie. Well, Reggie's not the smartest fellow in the world, and unless someone tells him to go rescue a wizard, he's just gonna keep smiting evil, Jim. What a great idea. Which one? You're gonna smite the mother or one of the other ones? Well, I think that mother needs to go down, don't you? Okay, very good. Yes, absolutely. I wish you all the luck in the world. I hit armor class well into the negatives, so Jim. That's that's disgusting beyond belief. How much damage does that poor troll take who never hurt anybody in his life? Her life. Well, yeah. This is a special kind of troll. <laughs> it's a special troll. Don't didn't you know they were unisex? Oh, okay. Everybody knows that. Anyway, Reggie, how much damage, my good friend? 
The telly is 22 points of damage, Sir Jim. Wow, 22. The mother falls. Well, as I knew she would. Bad round for you, Jim. Yeah, I know. That takes us to Tron. Tron the Holy. All right, so um, I'm going to storm after the wizard. So In the darkness. Uh, oh, it's not going to be dark in a second. Um, I smash a vial, I mean, a, uh, a thing of oil mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all over myself and run through the fire in the middle of the room, igniting myself on fire and running after the wizard. Are, are you fireproof for some <laughs> strange reason that I don't know about? Oh, no, you knew about it because you, you gave me one of these it. great fire resistant gems. Oh, yes. that's really tragic beyond belief. And okay, you, tell me a, a mad capped, crazy human. Lighting himself on fire and singing the praises of the mighty god Horus as he runs after a bunch of trolls. Tell me that isn't gonna, you know, put a little twist in their knickers. I believe yeah, he wants a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I believe everything knows fear now, even your allies. Yeah. No, I mean, because my presence protects him from fear. Which, Jim, oh, basically, yes. he is the stuff of nightmares. You're getting that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I've got that all figured out. Thank you. Troll, troll nightmares. Uh, Levi. Yes. Well, since my target has been smited, uh, 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 I, I will I will quickly evaluate. Who, do we have one or two trolls left? One. You one. have two two trolls left. Okay. So one of them I'm, is stone, though. Based what on, total was seven. Uh, one is stone. Four dead upstairs. One a uh, um, um, miniature. Number four is after you. The specter is after you. No, you're right. Number three is after you too. So right. you only have one troll left. Right. All right. So I, I'll t- I'll take the most injured of the one troll. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. And, Get away. And, and attack them twice. And I and the beauty is uh, I got a 19 and an 18. So. Oh, that's uh, so much fun. It is awesome. I think. Well, um, someone requested a balls. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first attack. Uh, since since my hands don't do anything fancy, uh, the, the, though actually, uh, I, I I do have the you know that that bracer of ignition, so I don't know if it's going to do anything or not. But uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So anyway, for first attack hit, hits for eight. Are you using your hands? Uh, yes. To... Okay, bounce, bounce. Really? Which take? Yeah. Would I lie to you, my good friend Levi? That's Takes us to Lance's turn. All right, so I will pull out my mighty green emerald of petrification and slam the remaining troll and turn it to stone. Wow. What What is doing this? You have given me, which I have had in my bag and not used, a green emerald stone of petrification. I thought it was like a day. No, no, no. That, that <laughs> stone... That- that you got with you is when you're stoned, it right. undoes that magic. So I also have the stone of uh, cat's eye gem of flesh to stone. So I have two of them. I wasn't sure which one turned them to stone and which one prevented it. Wow, that's magnificent. Okay, so make um, sure you use them in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny, Anna. Thank you very much for that. Um, okay, so uh, let's see if you touch him. All right, roll. I just roll that one to hit like normal. Yes. All right, I got a natural eighteen, James. That's okay. I don't like the smug sound of your voice, there, young man. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, uh, he's he's turned to stone, and that gem turns to dust. Ooh. And that by takes Anubis, that- I am not pleased. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Anubis is not pleased. Anubis really hates you. Maybe that's why it turned to dust. Which takes us to Andrew fighting three horrific monsters. I got a, I got a one-inch wonder. He's no monster. Well, he'd like to be. Um, Size isn't everything, you know. <laughs> Funny, we leave all the, the major melee to the wizard. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> isn't that amusing? Okay, so you yeah. got a one-incher and two. They're going to eat you for lunch. What do you want to do? Uh, you could at, rush back to us. At the spectral one. Uh Save it and do hold undead. Minus three since he's alone. Oh, I'm really going to hate this one. Yeah, he didn't save. He's held. 
Okay. Okay, so the other one. This is the child. This is, yeah, it's younger. He's not exactly a baby, but he still gets four attacks. Don't no. kill it. Wait for me. I know. Better rally, Sally. <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of real estate to be chewed on. Wow, I do just, 10 points of damage to you, Andrew. I just want to point out to the chat that I've killed more than the paladin. Just saying. Got it. Roger that. Okay. Damage All overall. right, so now, how is this going to work? I think. No, Prometheus. Okay, Prometheus, you're either going to save the party right now or you're going to fail the party right now. Okay. Roll a six out of die. You really need to roll a five or a six. Six. Okay, so none of you, because of Prometheus, are surprised to see the two dead trolls rise up and attack. Now, why are they rising up and attacking well, you? Asterisk? If they were, if they were trolls that I killed, they're on fire. Yeah. Okay. Got, yeah, they're all burning. Everybody's burning. <laughs> Okay, Prometheus takes two beautiful hits for 13 points of damage on my buddy Prometheus. All right, I accept this, Jim. Oh, I, I appreciate that so very much. So, so, so they get <laughs> so they get raised and attack on uh, on the first oh, initiative. Of yeah, Dro, that's the point. Dro, are you reading the chat? They're saying that now that we have a paladin, the cavalier is redundant and James should get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is so true. That is vastly amusing. Uh, Knight of Barsoom and Captain Kilgosher are teaming up on me. Look at that. Okay. So my good friend Lance is going to take 13 points of damage. Where are you, Lance? I know you're hiding here somewhere. So I've got you down to... 18 points, my good friend. I, I can go into the negative. It's okay. I don't remember rolling initiative. You didn't. The trolls got it first from surprise. Only because you rolled that six, uh, did you save the lives of your fellow um, allies in this battle? Okay. Which takes us to Andrew. What are you going to do, buddy? One, one to go. One to go. And he wants you. Yeah, so I can tell. You also know I'm running in behind you. I'm no, he, he doesn't know that. It's kind of hard no. to miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you aren't even close yet. So what are you doing, Andrew? She's damn fenster. I'm going to hate that one, aren't I? That's the glass spell, right? Open it hurts. Shoot the glass. Okay, first we're rolling a six-sided die to see if the spell is disturbed. You don't want to roll a six. Three. All right, now throw it and tell me how much damage he takes. Uh, 15 mine levels, so 24. Wow, that's quite a lot. Against a little kid. Okay, he's attacking back. Then next turn, Drawn will be in there with you. Oh, look at that, I only got one blasted hit. Jeez, four points of damage on Andrew. Okay. Where is he? Okay, you're down to 18, my good friend. Yep. Halfway okay, that there. takes us that uh, takes us to the other boys, starting with Anna. Okay. <laughs> there's there's two trolls. One's huge, and the other is kiddish. Okay, I'll I'll attack the huge one. 16. That is uh, probably a hit. I'm gonna I'll hate hit that. Armor class one. What are you using oh, wait, for? What I use my saber, so so actually I have plus two, so it's minus one. So, or or, or. okay. And how much damage do you do? Don't forget uh, to add that burning damage. That's true. So it's six. It's eight plus a d four. Two d four. That is two d four. Oh, two d four. Yes, ma'am. And uh, that's another five. So yeah. there. Th like thanks for helping out there, Walt. I really yes. appreciate you it. You know, Andrew's yes, in like the other room. I'm kind of thirteen. <laughs> yeah, thirteen <laughs> points of damage. Yeah. All right, it falls to the ground. Looks to be dead. Yay! Which, which takes us to Prometheus and the other living troll. Okay, uh, that's a child troll, right? Tr child troll. It's right? a younger troll for sure. Okay, I get three attacks this round. Oh, this it, is going to be bad. It. Oh no! One is a miss. Hooray! And hit two hits. Uh, is it still large or small? It's it's not small. It's it's medium size now. 
So is that a D8 with a long sword? Yes. Okay. We're going to do a total of um, b -b 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 12, 24 damage. Okay, it falls dead. All right, so Andrew and Drawn, you guys are the only ones with a live troll. Um, um, Drawn, please roll a 20-sided die for initiative. I rolled a marvelous 10. Not mute. You're muted, Boomer. I hate when that happens. 16. Yeah, mute. 16. Okay, you guys first, starting with Andrew. She's tame fenster. Razor, kill. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> Poor little troll never did anything to anybody. Yeah, it only hurts till the pain goes away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Those dead 19 retainers might say something otherwise. <clears throat> uh, another 21, so uh, 48 from me. Okay, and John? Uh, hit it with my uh, hammer. It's hey. just, just like saying Kopesh. Uh, 40, hmm. uh, barely. Kopesh is the child's skull. <laughs> Barely and damage. Uh, 17 from the Right in the hammer. unisex balls. Okay. Razor, razor with a natural 18 hits. Yeah, um, I, got, I got a poison. Oh, I don't have to poison the trolls. <laughs> um, uh, and it takes uh, three damage from uh, the hit. Okay. Uh, and then it savers paralyzation. How is it? It's paralyzing from the sting, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. I, I, it doesn't appear to work. Got it. But unfortunately, the troll falls over dead. Burn it. Yeah, we, we like hyper burn it. How do you hyper burn it? I hug it because I'm still on fire. <laughs> You're still on fire. Okay, it, you just get greasy and smelly, and it's really distasteful to you. All in a day's work. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's smash. We're going to uh, crush the reduced one and smash that into a pulp. Oh, boy. All are right. the drums still beating? Yes, the drums are absolutely still beating. And the ghost wraith is still there, correct? The ghost wraith? No, he oh. took care of that, unfortunately. Okay. Yep, we'll kill him. Uh, uh, okay, so you see that rack of weapons in your area, and the other guys see a great big bunch of things in their area. So let's, let's go north. Uh, they're, yeah, the they're, vicious... all, they're all uh, exits to every comp compass point. Uh, so we know that the east one is the dragon skeleton with the gold pile. Yes. What, what can we see from the north exit? You came from the north. I thought we came from the south. No, you came from the north. <laughs> so this is the original cave. We gave us uh, 60 by 110, and there was a, a passageway to the north. Which yeah, except you drew, that, you drew that uh, uh, you drew that in the south exit, and you should have drawn it in the east exit i believe you okie dokie okay, okay yeah something like that except now in that little cave you need four exits total i it, oh in this in the little one too yes 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 not, one not just the one to the north I right one in each compass point i thought that was in the cave i descended to downstairs it is but that's where you are right now right okay got it okay all right. Um, so do you want to play with that rack of equipment? In there? Yeah. No. We're going okay. to do equipment. All right. Very good. What about you, John? You want to play with any of that stuff? First things first, I'm going to heal our good friend Wordna so he doesn't expire from either uh, exertion uh, or... How many points? Um, what a nice guy you are. Uh, six. Six bold points. And then uh, just do some healing real quick. He yeah, gets another three back, and then six. Okay, while that's nine. 20, 24. That's a happy sound. All right, who's dinging? Not uh. I. Uh, I run. I uh, run past uh, Wordna. Okay, listen. I need to go back and check on them. They're burning and hurt, so I got to fix them. Don't do anything weird where you disappear and then get crushed. <laughs> He's um, advising you not to go invisible is what he's advising you. I'm going to slug one of my uh, two potions of healing. Okay, very good. 1d8 plus 1. Uh, for 7. Okay, 7. That um, takes you up to 31. Yeah, I'm close to the top. Yeah, you're doing really good. 
Um, I'm going to go look and see if uh, of these two exits I haven't been, if I hear the drums from either of them. Excellent question. The answer, my good friend, is to the west. You hear drums really loud. Okay. I come back to uh, go back to the other room. Uh, yes. To the assembled uh, crew. Yes. Uh, okay. So in the other room, we have burning trolls. Yes. Dead stuff, lots of exits, weapon rock. Uh -huh. uh, you say you find the magic sword. I point to Reggie. Yes, there's a holy blade that has my name on it. I just need someone to spring the trap first. <laughs> I'm going to take a uh, healing potion, James. Okay, that sounds fine. I'm Let rolling a six plus one, one so a seven. plus one. So I got a seven. Seven. So that puts you at 25. How deep are right, you, I'm, Levi? Uh, I'm down 20, I think. I'm gonna... Levi, hang on, let me look at Levi, my good friend. Levi is is at, yeah, 20 it is. Uh, I'm going to give, uh, let's see, I will heal him with a uh, the only one I got, Cure Serious Wounds. Oh, those are magnificent. Uh, 14 more. Okay, very good. And then I'll hit him with normal healing for okay. two. Okay. All right. That's really good. Thank you, sir. And I'm going to take my other one because I'm so low. Chrome, how bad hey. are you? Uh, I think I'm down to 27. So you need a hit? Yes. He's, he's actually down to 19. I give him uh, my second healing potion. Okay, oh, one no, if you're going to do that, I, I have two healing potions. Let me let me nail those first. I, right. I've got a seven um, plus one, so i got an eight for my second one. Thank you very much. That's 33 for you now, my friend. Anna, are you hurt? is your character hurt? Yeah, I, I'm at 21, and I don't think I have a healing potion. If I had, I could have used it. Uh, I'll give you one, and then uh, I will use my last Cure Light Wounds on you for... Okay. So you get seven from the cure light wounds, and then whatever you want to do from the from the potion. What, what is the one uh, d eight plus one? One d eight plus one. And I healed seven points. Six from my two points potions. more. Okay, so. gotcha, Prometheus. Thank yeah. you, sir. So I'm up on 30, 36. Okay, and then I'm gonna uh, use healing on you, proficiency, and that gives you another three. Okay, thirty nine. Yep. Well, you guys have done brilliantly so far. Thank you. I haven't been yeah. able to kill a dang thing. Um, um. <laughs> Reggie, are you uh, Reggie? Are you hurt? Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> uh, damage, but... Thank you so much. That was awesome. No, I am. I am bleeding, indeed. Look at that. <laughs> Reggie's down to forty-one. Uh, so, all right, I'll hit. Holy wound! I will hand you the, uh, the my last healing potion. And uh, one D eight plus one, Reggie. Now I I have myself at fifty six. I was okay. at seventy three to begin. So okay, Jim. and then you get another three from non magical healing. Okay, fifty nine. You yeah. lost some health points when you got away from me because you were so afraid. Yeah. May I have three from non magical healing coming up? Six points healed. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, you got it. Another three. Six. Um. All right, so what are we doing about the sword? Getting it to All me, right. I think. Hold on. I'm going to pull out Trickster and see if I detect any traps on the uh, the weapons rack. Everything's trapped. Can I well, tell what kind of traps? Evil, horrible traps. Well, hold on. Before we go into the second room, let's deal with the troll room first. Yeah, and the ones on the wall, the weapons on the wall, are all trapped with oh, magical... Oh, there's, there's more than just the, the holy vorpal sword? There's a dragon bow. Oof. There is a dragon dagger. And then there's this holy sword of vorpalness. I use bows. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to grab Burn it? your hand. So does, the, so does the ranger. Maybe the ranger should take the bow. That's true. Ooh. I use daggers, too, to poison people. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's what TMC says. Well, I use bows to, to, to kill party members or, or <laughs> yeah. damage party members. Right. So you should probably can not I, give it to me. No, can I um, tell what kind of trap it is? Other than just an evil trappy trap? No. What is the sword? What does Fever tell me? It's cursed. So if we hit it with a remove curse, that'll take it off? He doubts it very much. 
Does he know the nature of the curse? He's he's suspecting ant, but he isn't sure. Okay. Do I build up an immunity to ant since I've been turned into an ant like 19 times? <laughs> no. Can I ask this this question? Uh-huh, Is the uh-huh. curse on the rack or the weapons? Weapons. Mm. Great question. Is there any way to lift them into the bag without a uh, bag of holding without touching them? Yeah, you'd have to try. I don't know. I'm, I'm asking Dro if he has that skill uh, ready. That feels like a levitate spell or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't levitate. Don't get is weird. The curse, does Fever know if the curse is on all the weapons or one weapon? He's all of the positive weapons. it's on all three. Different curse, curse for curse everyone. Holy sword it doesn't even make sense. Yes. So we do have remove curse on a scroll. Do you? Well, and work does. on weapons. So of course, I do. Who, who has it? Andrew. Andrew does. I don't think so. We'll have to find out. Andrew, do you have remove curse on a scroll? I do. Oh, that's disgusting beyond belief. Okay, so what are you going to do with it, Andrew? Well, since I'm in the other room downstairs and hearing the drums to the west, uh, I want to look down the west corridor and see if I see them. Ooh, I'm so glad you're doing that, Andrew. I can't, I can't tell you how glad I am as you're all by yourself. <laughs> oh, God. And you are now going to experience the number two. Oh, that doesn't sound good. The so entrance, we, yeah, the we entrance. Said, it's, shitty. it's pretty stinky. The, the entrance to this area is filled with broken bones, um, with their mirror all sucked out. There is a murky fog in the area, and your lights are not penetrating that fog. I just want to say that broken bones and marrow sucked out is always a bad sign. You think? Yeah. And not if so, you're the one doing the sucking. But, you know, so we, Andrew, Andrew ignores that kind of stuff. He just goes boldly in and, and takes care of the problem. And then in our uh, AAR afterwards, he lectures me about being more cautious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking, hey. speaking, of, uh, uh, speaking of signs that aren't bad, uh, Jason, would you want to talk about Kings League real quick? All right. Oh, sure. I can talk about Kings League. What do you want to know? Everything. Oh, yeah. Everything about yeah. Kings League. Yes. Well, I think some people in the chat may have actually read King's League, but King's League is an epic lit RPG series. In book two, 86 Neon, wherein our heroes go to a cyberpunk world called 86 Neon, (laughs) is out now. Now it's narrated and available on audio by Mark Boyette, who is brilliant. He's done Order of the Centurion, everything you can imagine. But King's League is a funny book, lots of funny times, lots of dead things, lots of living things. Really, it's a book for all seasons, and that's why I'm sure it will win a Pulitzer. <laughs> and, and when you say light RPG, what exactly does that mean? Ah, you see, Jim, it's a lit RPG. So imagine if you would a D&D campaign, you're reading about a campaign, but you actually find out what the stats are behind the scenes as it happens. So you see your character grow in experience. You see the inner workings of how the upgrades happen. That's that's the basic idea behind lit RPG. Sometimes it's a fantasy setting as if you're actually watching a pen and paper game happen. Often it is a video game. So in this case with Kings League, they are playing a video game. Holy so mercy. when when do you see the stats? The stats pop up in Kings League just as things go along. So Dirk will level up and he will then use his newfound attributes to increase his character. And then that character will respond better and better against the threats thrown against it. Do the the readers have to put their quarter on the machine to play now? (laughs) You put your quarter right in the old audible credit whammy. If you know what I mean. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Chunk, just keep it coming. Six books in the series, two are out now. Well, it sounds delightful, Jason. Well done, sir. And it's of course, very Jake, delightful. I always want to encourage you to come on over and check out Galaxy's Edge, which sponsors this podcast. You can dive right in with Galaxy's Edge 1, read by the amazing R.C. Bray. And it's one of the best science fiction space marine books on Audible. It's a really big, fun series to get into. Great culture. Come on over and check out the Galaxy's Edge fan page. It's completely inappropriate, and you'll laugh your ass off. It's there great. we go. Okay. So I have a plan for the weapons there. Great dungeon master of legendary epic proportion. <laughs> okay, you so, use that word. Now you're in big trouble. I'm going to reach into my bag and grab the rope, which I brought, and tie it around the weapons rack to knock it over 
without touching the weapons themselves. Uh, uh, the weapons rack, rack is in that empty room by Andrew. Right. I thought these, it was in the same room we were in. The, no, these three weapons are hanging on the wall. All right. Well, then I will loop the rope over the weapons to pull them okay, very off good. the rack. Stop, stop right there, my good friend. Let's make a magic saving throw, shall we? All right. Let me look what my magic saving throw is. Okay. This sounded brilliant in my head, people. It's going to be okay. I believe right. it. Magic, that's the spells, correct? Yes. And I got a 17, and I needed a 13. Yeah, right. that's how you play D&D. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you pull. Which weapon do you want to pull off the a wall? Because I'm trying to show Reggie how it's done, how you d and I'm going for the Vorpal Sword. Don't okay, break very, it. Very well, we'll see what happens. Break it. Okay, so you pull it off the wall, and there it is lying on the ground. And then I am going to use my not abilities because, you know, we tie horses, so and I will loop the handle of the rope without touching it so I can gently lift it into the bag of holding. Make another save. Make another the, save. From magic? Ooh, this is going to be bad. 20. You've done a terrible thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I, I'm, I'm very sorry. Guess what happens when you put a sword in a bag of holding? It gets held. A nice cuddly embrace. It... It actually explodes, <laughs> and, I, and I'm sorry to do this, but this is what Gary does. Um, everybody but Wordna has exploded. Hmm? We've put weapons in the bag before. Hmm? This, uh, uh, this is a magic holy sword with vorpal ability that you toss in the bag, and it rips the fabric of the universe and explodes the whole area. Uh -oh. Well, health bells, people. I'm I'm very sorry, but the very same thing happened to me just once. You'll never do it again, but all of your characters but Andrew have died. Damn! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't uh, we get a saving throw? No, but but uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Captain Kilgosha said uh, he, he's going to start subbing. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you do get some exactly, subs. Exactly, yeah. He, he was vicious, so now he needs to sub for months to come. So, yeah. Um, wow. Um, Jim, I'm going to uh, cautiously turn around. and <laughs> You heard the explosion. <laughs> yeah. 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 And just head back up the stairs and, and look uh, at the sign of the explosion. What do I see? Uh, you, you, you see a great big hole with all of their magical weapons at the bottom of the hole. Captain Kogosha just uh, started dropping subs in the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into and the And this light. is how JR never gets back invited to play. Um, <laughs> do I see fever in the hole? Yes, you do. Uh, I'm going to reach out to him telepathically and say, we got a problem. Uh, let's work together. We're going to leave. I'll take you, and you and I will have to work together to save the party. Are you up for that? Uh, what are you going to do? I don't know if I want to be held by you. You're a magic user. Right, but you and I made a deal. So if we have our deal, I'll use your wish to save your friend. Are you up for that? It's thinking. D is there like a little spinning wheel? There <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, right. so There's a little cog that's yep. twirling on the pommel of the sword. It yep. can't quite make up its mind. Um, roll a six sided die, Andrew. Don't roll a six. One. Okay. Yeah, pick me up. Let's hear the wish. I'm not doing it right now. I'll jump okay. in, and then I cast Energize and teleport home. Okay, back you're, you're back to the Red Dragon Inn. All right. Looks like I got a lot of writing to do. Okay. So he's going to he's gonna try to make the wish so that I can't twist it into something <laughs> ugly that brings everybody back. Maybe he wishes that the sword doesn't get put in the bag. Who knows? We'll have to see. And I suppose now it's time to stop and do one more ad. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Uh, uh, I kind of like it. As, as, as nobody wants to talk to me again. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to understand because we've put, we put magic weapons in the bag before. Yeah, no, you haven't. No, we haven't. It's good. We learn. Yep, the hard way. 
Exactly. Mm-hmm. I learned the hard way. You guys should learn the hard way. <laughs> ATF Fiend wants to know if I get extra XP for killing the entire party. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that XP divides by one. <laughs> yeah, really? Oh, wow. yeah, so and all- now Wordna is level 20. Yeah, so all those trolls and stuff like that, that all that all drops to Wordna. That all goes to Wordna, unless he does something in the wish so that, uh, you know, the time is elapsed and you guys get credit for killing that. We'll have to find out what the wish does. Yeah, let's let's make sure to post the full text of the wish on our uh, on our Facebook page, huh? <laughs> so that so that you can all comment on it, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe let the viewers comment on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we, we need a, an in in game lawyer to look at it. So yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Very good, well said, Anna. Very yeah. well said. That's well, the, well, I think that brings us to a close. Why don't you take us all on out of here? This actually might be the last session ever. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I got the chance before you folded. <laughs> uh, we want to thank everybody in the chat. Thanks for uh, uh, for the emotes and the uh, and the sub Kilgosha. <laughs> we only had yep. to die to make it happen. Thanks, Jr. Yeah, yeah, uh, really. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll catch you next time. Uh, on sci-fi writers playing old school D and uh, don't forget to check out uh, Anna Meyer's uh, webpage and check her out. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, playing in Greyhawk on Lord Gasumba's channel. Uh, we're gonna uh, when this uh, posts up to YouTube, we're gonna put all those links in there and uh, uh, check out all the cool stuff that was d- uh, debuted on the channel today. Uh, we hope everybody has a great afternoon, and we'll catch you next time. Okay.